Said, oh my god. Dude, that shit was super popular back in the 90s, man. That song was everywhere. Like I said on the fucking Core 45 on the last episode, beat him down, talk about ha- having it blasting while he played laser tag. That's amazing. <laughs> you can be chopping niggas up. Here. <laughs> <laughs> I would feel so in the zone, like, yes, I'm killing people. That's the thing, man. Once you, <sighs> when you hear that music, you just want to fight niggas. Like, yes. Oh, the man. I'm, you know what? I'm actually shocked. I'm gonna have to look this up. I'm shocked. No rapper has ever like sampled that and like made a mm. like a beat out of it for real. Me too. I can't think of anybody that's done it at least. I cannot either. But I'm surprised. Like Project Pat got the song. Like we about to fight up in this bitch. We for fight yeah. up in. Like if he had sampled that, that'd be hilarious. Mortal Kombat. No, it puts you in the mood. <laughs> well, no, they talking about making another Mortal Kombat movie. They've been talking about it forever because they've been talking about the guy that made directed the Saw movies is doing directing. That might be good. That might be good. You know, it'll be, it won't be PG thirteen like no. these two movies. Niggas will die. No bloodshed at in all. Either one of these movies. No. Didn't bother us in the first movie. I wonder if it bothers you in this movie. Don't say yet. Ah. Because PJ, yes. the show ain't started yet. So oh. Y'all let, let them know. Theme music. There you go. What's going on, everybody? I'm Brent. I'm PJ. And this is the home video hustle. Hustle? Motherfucking hustle. Uh, 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 uh. Mortal Kombat! Oh, man. <laughs> that, yes. This movie's long overdue, man. Yes, it the is. The first one was long overdue when it came up. It's like, what, 20 episodes? When the fuck was Mortal Kombat? When was Let's, let's the find first out. One. Let's look in the back catalog real quick. <laughs> We could do that now. I know, right? We you have, have a, we have a back catalog. <laughs> <laughs> Go check. Oh, you haven't heard about us? Okay, okay. I mean, we were like sixty six episodes in, right? Now. You know, okay, like you ain't heard. Pretty consistent, I would say. Bitch, so. I thought you knew. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was episode forty three. Wow. <laughs> oh shit! This is a PJ never seen movie, right? Yes, it I just is. About that. Let me make a note of that. Wow. What number is this? I gotta find out now. <laughs> I'm still in the low teens, right? Yeah, yeah. You actually for it to be episode good. 66, yes. it's not that high. Okay. Because I don't count all of them that you haven't seen. Because I know there's some that's like, eh, that's breast never seen. Okay, I'm in three. Wow. <laughs> well, you know what? I think there, I think we might have to add like one more because there's a couple or two more. Because there's one, there was ones that me and you haven't seen that count separately. Ah. So it might be like. Tally, so okay. I might be like that's five. Tally. This is number eleven. PJ's never seen number eleven. Okay. So okay. Because okay. the last PJ's never seen was Doctor No. There we go. Okay. So PJ's never seen Mortal Kombat Annihilation. When did you get Mortal Kombat? Let's really go back and find some shit out. That was episode, I said 43. Oh, yes. I turned right to 44 almost. Wow. You gave it an 8, the first one. I gave the first okay. one a 10 plus. All right. Okay, so yeah, I was wondering about this. The first one cost $18 million to make. <laughs> Remember that when I asked you these questions. <laughs> okay. And it made 122. Okay. Remember that. Okay. Remember Matter of fact, you ain't gonna have to remember long because PJ. Yes. World Cup Annihilation came out in 1997. Mm-hmm. Two years later. Mm-hmm. Hour and 35 minutes mm-hmm. or hour and 23 without credits. So it's short as fuck. Yes, it is. PG 13, like we said. Yes. Now, how much did it cost? How much did it make? Let's go. 10. Higher. Mm. 12? Higher. Okay. 18. Higher. 24. Higher. 36. Lower. Okay, 30. Yes. This shit okay. cost 30 million. Do you remember that? Look, think about what we just saw. Okay. This, this shit was cost more 30. than the first one to make. Yes. Okay. It looks worse. Okay. How much you think it made, though? Remember, what did I just say? The first one made 122? Yes. Okay, so guess this one then. Uh, 110. Lower. Damn. 100. Lower. Damn. 80. Lower. Damn. 60. Lower. Damn. 40. Higher. Woo. 50. Slightly higher. 
55. Lower. 53. Lower. 52. Lower. 51. 51.3 million. Wow. So like like half that is like first one 122. This is 51 million. How many years after is this the first one? Two. This is 97? Yes. Wow. And I think in between this you had the t- the cartoon show. I think Mortal Kombat Conquest, the live action TV show, may have come out. But did that maybe that came out after this? When did Conquest come out? Because for that I'm thinking '99, maybe. Let me double check my my sources and shit. <laughs> you see, Mortal Kombat Conquest. You know the thing about Mortal Kombat Conquest that always annoyed me because you know they they do the thing where all the C's are K's. Yes. But Conquest was a C though. I'm like. The fuck? Why? It's supposed to be a K, motherfucker. <laughs> you fucked up the whole vibe. Fuck fucked up the, the whole energy. Thing, man. Fuck this show now. Right? You're not <laughs> consistent enough, guys. It went from 98 to 99. I was almost 98 there. to 99. So that came after this. Okay. So why was it the CGI? When did CGI get like popping? Like when was? <sighs> like when it was in a big thing everybody talked about. Yes. I mean, there were movies here and there that did it. Like Jurassic Park used CGI with live, like with the puppets and shit. Yeah. The Abyss used the little water. Oh, the fucking Terminator 2. Dude, look at Terminator. That's 91. I've seen so, that one. So think about that. Terminator 2, 1991. Mm-hmm. Liquid Terminator. You know how that shit was there. Everybody was like, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Six years later, <laughs> this happened. <laughs> okay. It looks way worse. See, now that it's that, we'll get there. We'll get there. Damn. Before we get there, PJ. Yes. I've already told you that this movie is universally hated by yeah. people that don't know what they're talking about. But... <laughs> Guess the IMDb score out of 10. Six. Oh, fucking lower. Four. Lower. Two. Slightly high, well, higher. Three. Slightly higher now. 3.6. 3.2. Oh, no, you were closer to Damn, 3.7. Yes, 3.7 out of 10. Wow. Worse than that, guess the Rotten Tomato score out of 100%. Three. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Three percent out of one hundred. That's great. <laughs> it's maybe oh. one, of the, one of the worst review movies I think we watched on our yeah watched. For this Rotten one. Tomato. Why are they so harsh? What was the other movie because, that I? Oh, sorry. The, the that was the critics. Three uh-huh. percent. The audience per, uh, percentage. You want to guess that one? The audience. Out of a hundred. Yes. Two. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> this is the audience. Twenty. Slightly high. <laughs> <laughs> like, 23 25 yes 25% oh wow <laughs> so yeah PJ this movie gets no love yeah I see 3% <laughs> oh you know let me see dude. who, who oh. directed this shit this movie was directed by John R. Leonetti I know that fucking name from somewhere else do you yes I actually do I'm about to look I'm about to look and see where mm. I know that name from another movie like this if you could guess, I don't what know if movie he ever directed another movie, but ah. maybe he did. I, I know he does other shit too, like cinematography and whatnot. This was the first movie he ever directed. Ah. Oh, PJ, the, the next movie he directed after this was The Butterfly Effect 2 that went straight to video in 2006. Like Aston Kutcher, The Butterfly Effect? Yeah, but he's not in the sequel though. Ah, I see. It's Eric Lively, whoever the fuck that is. Okay. And it has a 4.5 out of 10. There you go. Oh, oh, <coughs> there you go. <coughs> After that, he directed Annabelle, the little doll movie that came out in 2014. This shit. Ah, okay. That I thought sucked. I didn't care mm-hmm. for that movie. Oh, look, I actually gave it a score on IMDb. What did I give it? I saw it for a second. Uh-oh. Go back. Go back. <laughs> I gave it a five out of ten. No, so there okay. you go. That's how I felt about that movie. <clears throat> oh, Wish Upon. He directed Wish Upon. Oh, that I need to find it. I need to find a copy of this because this might have to be in the bag because I heard this shit is like trash. But it's like that good, good trash. Is it a scary movie? Yes. It's PG-13 uh, horror. Oh, uh, shit. A teenage girl That's discovers like that a Lindsay box. Lohan yes. shit. Yes. Yep. Okay. So a teenage girl discovers a box that carries magic powers and a deadly price for using them. So it's kind of it's, it's like the monkey paw thing where it's like you get your wish, and, but it's like fucked up or some shit. Ah. Uh, Whatever. I've never seen that. Oh, it's an old thing. Okay. But yeah, so that's, that's what else he's done. So not much. And no other movies that I cared for. My Mortal wow. Kombat Annihilation is better than Annabelle. Fuck all y'all that disagree. <laughs> like, boo. Fuck everybody on IMDb. Uh-huh. Fuck everybody on Rotten Tomato. <laughs> Fuck everybody on Twitter. <laughs> Fuck everybody that disagree in general. I don't care. <coughs> <coughs> now, PJ. Yes. This movie starring Robin Show, Talisa Soto, <laughs> James Ramar, Sandra Hess, Lynn Red Williams, mm. Brian Thompson, Musetta Vander? 
Irina Pateva, I guess. And I think after that, I started getting tired of writing names after that. Because I'm like, I can't even pronounce this Go shit. Go back to the who. Jax is between the Ben Lee Williams or the Tyson guy. Who the fuck are you talking I don't, about? Oh, didn't you, the, ben Lee Williams whatever. and Brian Tyson. And what, who Lynn is, Red Williams and him. Brian Thompson. Is it one of him? Yes. Is that it's, Jack, one of it's one of them. The second one. Brian Thompson? Yeah. <clears throat> That's Shao Damn. Khan. Shao Khan. Damn. Lynn Red. Lynn That's Red Jax. Williams. That sounds like Jax right there. Yeah, I was about to say just Red. You know, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't want to be stereotypical right yeah, there. Yeah, but it, it kind of played that way. Right? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, you dying over there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> PJ. Yes. So, you, you followed this movie, right? Yeah. You heard what they recap all this shit at the beginning though. Yeah. Speaking of which, to get into the movie, fuck it. Starts out with the exact same credit sequence as the first movie, which yes. is like a little flag, like, uh oh. Thirty million dollars it wasn't spent here. <laughs> Except when you see the Mortal Kombat, the words turn, <clears throat> the words pop up like last time, but then they flip and they yes. turn into annihilation. Yeah. It's like, ah, oh, there's the budget. The whole budget. You zoom in and you hear Ray narrating and this red flag number two. It's like that's not fucking uh what's his name? What's his name? What's the, the Highlander? It's not the fucking Highlander talking. I can't remember. Christo- Christopher Lambert. Yeah, that's his name. The actor. The Highlander. Whatever. But it's not his voice. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, that's not Raiden. Next thing, the rival of the bad guys. They're coming down out of the sky and fucking fireballs. fireballs. Yes. And like Jack says later, they don't even use parachutes. <laughs> Motherfuckers are just falling. Like ankles is getting snapped, probably. Like everybody falling hard mm-hmm. on their feet. Ah, I hate Earth. How much better a movie would this be if everybody, when they landed, you just heard, and everybody like, God damn it! Fucking <laughs> 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 like knees is popping like in blood sport when the ball came through there. <laughs> That's all bad. <laughs> My next note I wrote just says flips. <laughs> ah, so they were preparing to fight, I take it. There you go. Yeah, you were okay. Them. They were. They were at the temple, right? Yeah, they were the temple of the order of light. The temple of the order of light. Yeah, Luke mm. Kane's temple. I have to say before we get to that because they're doing shots of they're showing everybody. And it's like, oh, Luke Kane, that's what's up. Oh, Katana, that's what's up. Who the fuck is this bitch? Right. That's not Sonya. It's a different actress right. playing Sonya. Who is Luke Cage? And Johnny Cage. Johnny not Cage. Luke Cage. God damn it! Every it's time. Only room for one black person in this movie. Okay, you're right. You're right. We met <laughs> the It's a bald headed, brown skin cat. Like Luke Cage. So yes. he, he technically got Luke Cage because he looked kind of like him a little bit. There you go. A little more cock diesel. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't know. No? I don't know. You ever seen Luke Cage? That's a big no, fucking problem. Like, yeah. Well, everybody's bigger than me, so I can't really. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to rephrase that. Story, I, was, though, I, I was thinking that. <laughs> I was you, kinda, but I, you painted yourself <clears throat> in a bad um, position there, buddy. Muscle wise. That didn't help. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Physique. Ah, really, the the words. Words. Know how to use them. Okay. So, there you go. This is a physique wise? Words. Y'all get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> oh, shit. But, yeah, so there's just basically like, there's a bunch of people that, like, it's Raiden's different, Sonya's different, Johnny's different. Who else is different? Is that, I think that might be it for like the main Maybe, people. Maybe, yeah. But I put flips though in my notes because Raiden and Shao Kahn start talking shit and they having beef. And they flip and they, they do these super flips to each other that are oh, not humanly possible. To meet face to face, yes. Earth was created in six days. So too shall it be destroyed. They got me right there. I and was... on the seventh day, mankind will rest in peace. Mm. Can you tell I know this movie? Can you? PJ, how often did I quote this movie while we watched it? Uh, maybe every other line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fucking around. It's just like the first movie I can quote this too. Quotables. Like, no joke. I can tell you, I remember getting this movie. <coughs> I remember the store. I remember everything. Buybacks? No, it was Best Buy. No, oh, shit. Buybacks on around there. Mm. Bought this on VHS tape. $7.99. I remember the price, motherfucker. Wow. That's I went. Deep. My, uh, I was like, is it about in this? By this time, I was a super, super Mortal Kombat fanboy. Went to Best Buy. It was my birthday. Mm-hmm. Mom took me to Best Buy to go, you know, give me a video game for PS1. Tells uh-huh. me blatantly to my face, you ain't getting no more Mortal Kombat shit. That's all you've been talking about. That's all you've been doing. No. 
What do I go towards, PJ? The Mortal Kombat. I grab Mortal Kombat 4 on PlayStation. <laughs> and she gives me a look like, motherfucker, I just told you. <laughs> We're here. If you're not getting no more Mortal Kombat stuff. I'm like, but I don't want nothing else. This is what I want. Mm-hmm. You said I give whatever I want. That's what I want Mortal Kombat 4, mom. Here you go. And she just, whatever. Come on. As we walk into the line, oh, look, there happens to be a copy of Mortal Kombat Annihilation by the front little register. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, it's uh, my birthday, seven ninety nine or whatever. Like, come on. <laughs> and she says, fuck it, buy it. So I got Mortal Kombat 4 and Annihilation for my birthday that year. Wow. You know, That's I was supposed amazing. to go in there and not get any Mortal Kombat stuff. Wow. <laughs> I got two things. Oh, mom. That's a good mom right there. <laughs> You no, can't boy. stop it, man. All right. It's going to happen. Just let it happen. <laughs> let it flow. I turned out fine. I didn't go stab my friend in the kitchen with a knife trying to be like Mortal Kombat. That's a true uh, thing that actually happened. Really? Yeah, kids are dumb. They were trying oh. to play Mortal Kombat. <laughs> See, that's the only bad thing is that there's there's always that thing that people always want to be like bitches and be like, oh, these video games warp the kids' minds and, you know, they should be... Who's not- dumb enough to... I want to say PJ, but I don't want to offend ah, anybody that may be listening. Oh, that's, that's not what, black. Okay. <laughs> you know it's a, yeah. Okay. Okay. Little kids with no melanin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not the chocolate. Because that's what it is every fucking time. That was the Tide Pods. That was the everything we did, didn't we do an episode we were doing an episode we actually looked for a video of a black kid doing, eating Tide Pods and we yes. never found yes, one this like, is true that's right I forgot about that <sighs> to kind of kill the mood slightly though just that recently at a fucking I forget where was it it was in Florida somewhere I think there was like they were having like a Madden yeah. sports thing and some little motherfucker yes. went in there and shot it all up because he lost is that why I didn't even hear yes, why I didn't really actually why. read about it that that's the shit I'm why. talking about see that's what I was getting at though See, there's always those arguments about, you know, video games corrupt kids' minds. And we're all like, oh, you know, I don't go around doing that shit. But then, of course, when somebody does it, mm. they just stand there like, the, the knuckles cry. Like, yeah, I live my fucking. <laughs> this is what I warned you Feed me more, you know. This is what I want. <laughs> there's a cat named Jack Thompson, I think was his name. And that motherfucker was on it super hard. Anytime, like, he was trying to ban everything. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. Grand 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 I was about to say when Grand Theft Auto came out, that nigga had, like, the rock hard boner and shit. It was like, I got ammo. <laughs> yes, I can't be this. I think to this day he still be on that bullshit. I think. Wow, that's amazing. I wonder if he's still paid. So I'm, I'm gonna just that. put it like this. I'm gonna give out my version of what I what I feel about everything. If you raise your kids right, teach them right from wrong, you don't gotta worry about shit like that. Hmm. PSA to quote my homie D Ray: Beat your damn kids. There you go. Man, it's real shit. There's a video. I think I've even talked about it. I know I talked about it with Jazz on the side hustle before. But there's a kid that got mad. He couldn't play World of Warcraft. He got grounded. And there's a video of him just yelling and like turn to like going. <laughs> he sounded almost like fucking ran, random Randy Savage or Colt 45 when he do that little <laughs> voice he did. And then he, he gets to the point where he's laying in the bed and he starts jamming a remote control up his ass. I see yeah, that yeah, I one. Thought so, yeah. Yes. It's like, again, like I said, who was it, PJ? We are, you know? Yes. <laughs> I, man. But it's just like, I just say all I had to say. It's not that serious, y'all. Like, if you're listening to this, young kids, if you're listening to this, cause I, know, I know you probably are because, you know, it's always the cool thing to listen to shit you're not supposed to. Ah, so I know y'all listening. There you go. So I would be listening to it. Like, I would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Home video hustle all day, every day. <laughs> But kids, yes. Don't stab your fucking friends trying to play Mortal Kombat. Don't jam remote controls up your ass because you're mad at World of Warcraft. I mean, unless that's just your thing and you do you, homie. Ah. <laughs> exactly. Don't do dumb shit. We ain't done a PSA in a while. Homie, no, hustle, hustle, PSA. Yes. Don't do dumb shit because of video games. Because then when you do fuck shit like that, then we all got to listen to everybody be like, oh, this video games are warping my blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Right. And to all those people that are always on that argument, I say politely to suck my dick. <laughs> all of it. The more you know. I need I need to, I need somebody to make me like a, a sound a sound bite of anytime we say the more you know, I just need somebody like to do a sound bite for us. If you listen to us, I need a, I need a the more you know sound bite because that gets said every week now. It does. <laughs> I need to do it. I need to like, just have it on my phone like that was easy but just hit the button it's like or whatever the fuck. that was easy <laughs> <sighs> but wow. yeah man Mortal Kombat yeah. though is the shit yes it is 
I think. I'm sorry. What's up? What's up? Real quick. Oh no no. Go ahead. What's up? What's up? What is your favorite? What is? Oh my. Oh the game. No. Oh, okay. No. The, your favorite commercial from childhood that you remember? Ooh, damn, that's a good question. Oh, favorite commercial. Because that, that was easy. That shit from, reminded me. From childhood. I was going to say, I, I know one that instantly came to mind, but it's not from childhood. <laughs> let me fuck it. Let me say that one first. There's a GoDaddy commercial, and it makes me laugh. It makes me laugh more so because of the, the vine that it made. There's like a, it's a black dude. He's inside us. He goes to a store, and it's like, it's like setting it up like it's like, oh, you know, it's so wonderful to have like your own independent business. Mm-hmm. And then the black guy comes up and the, the white woman behind the counter is like, we got our first sale. And she starts doing this little thrush shit like that. <laughs> And and she starts doing it real fucking hard, mm-hmm. and there's a and the black dude looks around. There's like four or five other white cats in there, and they're all doing it too. And it's just like him, just looking like uncomfortable and confused. But somebody took that clip and they overput "Slob on My Knob" over top of it. Uh-uh. <laughs> it is funny because they do it "Slob on My Knob," and they're all doing the little thrust thing. <laughs> and, but then right at the very end, the funniest part of the whole video, there's like this little uh, ginger cat, little redhead dude with the beard and everything, and it zooms in real far on his face. His face is like. He got kind of like a like a rapey looking face or something. And it's the, man, that shit is. I need to Sit find. To I post that Vine all the time. I remember in the Castaway the group chat, mm-hmm. we were one day talking about like our favorite like gifts. Mm-hmm. And there's a gift for that, and it's my favorite fucking gift in the world. Wow. Well, but that that's my favorite. I, every, I that shit makes me laugh all the time. More so the Vine in the commercial, I guess. But it the commercial was still funny the, though. Yeah, it stems from that commercial. But from childhood though, fuck. Um, I know there's one. I know there's one. I wish. I wish Nick was here because he probably would tell me right. Like, remember, it was like smacking back. Well, did you have one? Like, cause you asked me, it was on one. You know, I wish I would have oh, thought shit. about <laughs> that. No, no, I did not. I uh, thought you had one. That's why you asked me. No, the staples. I just remember that uh, that was easy. Like they had a whole. Oh thing. yeah, that was, was a like whole four thing. or five. Yeah, commercials of that. Uh, no, I don't know why. I just randomly had a remembrance of the vigilante 8 commercial the old ps1 game it was like a knockoff twisted metal and it was like a school bus full of kids or something and it was like cut into the footage of like the school bus or something like blowing cars up and shit and there was like kids standing outside and there was like a little girl and they cut to her saying like what the fuck but it cut right before she said fuck or something he used to always make me laugh ah. as a kid because he used to always play when i was watching wrestling like ah. wwf and shit wow so that that and like just came That's to my mind. Right? So okay. that might be my answer. Like nothing okay. else comes to mind with that yeah. commercial. And if anybody out there remembers Vigilante Eight, I love you because I've never heard anybody talk about that I've game. I've never PJ heard of it. don't know. No. I said just knock off Twisted Metal. That's all it was. Hmm. There's a knock off Twisted Metal Star Wars game. It's called Star Wars Demolition. You don't. That was a whole little say. like that created a whole little. I don't know if it created it because there was a game like called Carmageddon. I think that may have came before Twisted Metal. I'm not sure. Carmageddon. Yeah. Yeah, you go around like running motherfuckers over and it's like super bloody and gory and shit. Ah. Okay. PS1? Oh, uh, that's PC, I think. Oh, shit. Yeah, I think that's before PS1. That's what I'm saying. I don't know which came first. Wow. That's the thing. Mortal Kombat gets a bad rep for all this <laughs> violence and shit, but there are way bloodier games like before that. This was just fighting. And way bloodier games at the time. I mean, you know, of course, it's the mainstream thing, but then they had shit like Phantasmagoria on PC. On PC. And that had, like, every time you got killed in that game, you play as a girl, and she would get super brutally fucking murdered. Like, you are dead. <laughs> like, that's a game over. Like, a yeah. motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a part, hey, this a, the clip that's always shown from that one. No, there's two of them that I can think of all the time. There's, like, a, a um, guillotine, and if you don't do the right thing, it, like, it's like flies and hits your person in the face, and their head just fucking explodes, and there's chunks and shit everywhere. Huh. All right. The one I remember the most that you get, you get, you don't, like, get away from the monster or whatever in time. It, like, does like this with his finger, puts his fucking fingers and like right in your face and it rips it open and you see like just sh- that shit spraying blood and getting ripped open and everything ah. and I'm at the kid I'm like yes! I need this I'm like that's this what I like okay wow yeah, so that, these were on Kombat. PlayStation no uh, it was PC game I mean PC yeah PC <laughs> I mean that's what I'm saying for, for home consoles like Mortal Kombat I guess it was you know the, but then it, the spawned, it spawned a bunch of shit too because then there's a bunch of rip off games you know the Kasumi Ninjas and uh, what the fuck is it called um Bloodstorm and shit like that. So it created. Yeah, there's a whole subset of fucking huh. fatality games. See, I don't know. Tattoo Assassins, that game never came out, but there's like a build of it you can download. It had like 2,500 different fatalities or some dumb shit. Oh. Yeah, that was the gimmick, I guess, if it had came out. <laughs> you don't say. Okay. The, one of the Mortal uh, John Tobias broke off. He was on the Mortal Kombat team. He created Tao Fing, Fang, or whatever. 
And I think that gang's gimmick was that you can like fuck people's limbs up. Like if you hit somebody in the leg enough times, their leg would fucking break. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. But that gang bombed. I think they did another one. All right, no, I'm, I'm, I'm getting too. I'm getting too deep in there. PC, great times. Well, I wouldn't even tell it was Xbox. <laughs> God damn. Okay. <laughs> Xbox exclusive even. God damn, it's almost wow. a half hour wing. <laughs> All right, Mortal It's not much to talk it about. That's what, I didn't even take that many notes. Mainly because I just know this fucking movie. But, oh yeah, damn, we we just talked about the flips, goddamn. <laughs> All right. Shao Kahn and Raiden face off. Mm-hmm. They're just talking shit basically to each other. You know, your world becomes my world. All this shit. And fucking Raiden gets bopped with this fucking, like, green ball projectile First thing. time. Yeah, that, that's, it's a running thing. In this, like, Raiden gets fucking bombed in this movie. Yes. To the point where it kills him later. But, oh, spoiler. But, uh. for this old ass movie. But eventually, Raiden, you know, gets the upper hand. Oh, no, no, no. I take that back. He, uh, Shao Kahn starts, he, he gets beat a little bit. So, he gets a lasso. Lasso's uh, Sonya Blade's legs, pulls her toward him. Says, this ends now. Yeah. You hide behind a human? Why not, Lord Raiden? You hid behind him the entire pathetic life. You know, shit like that pops up. <laughs> But of course, because Johnny Cage just because this this thing this movie happens seconds after the first one ended. This shit is a super yeah. continuation. Yeah. So Johnny Cage is like, "Yo, I just secured this shit and I ain't got none yet. So I'm going to do my fucking shadow kick that looks bad in this movie." But Shao Kahn is like, "No, Haymaker, Fight Night yeah. Round Two, this ass." So Sonya gets away, but then he grabs Johnny Cage. You know, surrender Raiden or this one dies. And Raiden's like, well, I will take your general because Earth does yes. not bend to the will of tyrants. Hmm. I'm quoting this movie. Here. I was about I'm to like, say, you sound like you, yeah. This is I know this movie. You're in the movie, okay? Lord Raiden will not let one of your precious humans die or whatever. Mm-hmm. So he's like, trade me for Johnny Cage. Shao Kahn's like, come bow at my feet. Yeah. And when Raiden lets loose Shao Kahn's people, he's like, you fool! And in slow motion, <laughs> snaps Johnny Cage's neck twice. Yes! He's dead. So he's like, Johnny! I like the... Those were very good was in this movie. The neck cracks like when somebody oh, the, the died crunchiness? by the yes, yes. That was Remember we talked point. about that with the Punisher last time too. That neck snap was yes, super crunchy. Yes, like I love a good crunchy. Yes, neck. It, it feeds the soul. There's a foley, there's a foley sound guy just cracking celery in that fucking room on that microphone. You know, because you know that's how they do that shit. Right? Is it? Yeah, there's that. They call them foley artists, and they're basically they make sound effects in movies because you know. Not all the sound effects in the movie come from the movie, so like neck snaps and like some t- and like old wasn't like horse galloping and that type mm-hmm. of shit. Like on Soup Complex, they they were watching a bunch of old westerns from the sixties, mm. and they're a spaghetti westerns because they're made in Italy and by Italians and shit. Oh. And those movies are dubbed after the filming. They're saying the words in the movie, but there's no sound, so they have to go back after the movie's done and edit it to to do the lines and put them in later. So the actors <laughs> have to say their lines again. Yeah. After acting yeah. with the lines, yeah, yeah, that's one of the reasons why. What you know, type of shit is that? Well, they do that. They do that to this day. It's called ADR, and uh, because sometimes they have to go back and do pickups. Like some, like oh, here's a, a good way to catch that shit is if there's ever somebody, wow. if something ever is like somebody's talking, but then they cut to that person off screen and you hear them talking again. A lot of times it's ADR shit. Mm-hmm. Like when Jack, like in this movie when Jackson son you're walking and it's like zoomed out, and you can hear Jackson like. I gotta use the bathroom. Ain't got no toilet paper. Shit yeah. like that. That's probably ADR type shit they put in later. Ah, okay. Yeah. Filmmaking. Wow. The more you know. Mm-hmm. I see. I need that. that I'm yeah, you, I that need that. For he, somebody, I need that sound. <sighs> but um, what the fuck was I saying? What the fuck? How did that even come up? I don't remember now. Uh, <laughs> I was talking about Johnny Cage. How the fuck did we get to ADR? I don't know. God damn it! My memory is gone. I should have had a V8. <laughs> and you didn't even smoke. Yeah. I should have had a V8. That's a commercial. You smack a 74 that. Yeah. Goddamn. <laughs> I'm telling you, by the end of this video, I'm sure one will pop up into my head for real. <laughs> so it's, all I need is that one trigger word. <laughs> like, that was it. It's like when they had like the, the, the sleeper cell agents in the movies where it's like you say the trigger phrase and they just turn into yes. killers and shit. You know, say the phrase, I'm just like, ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that commercial. That was it. <laughs> Oh. Fuck it. I don't remember where we was at. So next thing. <laughs> John, so Johnny Cage is dead. Mm-hmm. Um, the cracks. Cracks? The cracks. The celery. Foley. Oh, that's it. Got it. Bro, thank you. See? There it is. That's why this is a two-man show. <laughs> but. So they're dead. Shao Kahn and them 
bang out. I don't know if they go. Well, I mean, Luke Kang don't start banging out because it's like mad motherfuckers. Coming, man. yeah, yeah. Because you got all the cronies and shit, and Shao Kahn just says annihilate them. So they start chasing them, get into a cave. Raiden uses his electric to like close the fucking cave entrance. Yeah, that's some magic shit. Lights the whole cave on fire. Yeah, he got he got the Candles torch and he and just shit. waves yeah. the torch one way and all the fucking things come on. That's amazing. Cause then it's like, why do you need the torch? Just wave the fucking yeah, right? just turn on. I mean, you ain't have to do all that right. I, mean, I know, you know what though? You know why though? It's every time you go out, you know I got to show. Oh shit! Juicy J told you years later though. That's I mean. right. It's yeah. <laughs> wow. So, basically, he's giving like backstory, <clears throat> telling them. Because Luke Kang is like, yo, we won Mortal Kombat. What the fuck is this shit? Like, this ain't supposed to be happening. He's like, oh well, you know, they just didn't follow the rules. And it's like, that's it. You just do whatever the fuck you want. I guess Shane Sun was like too pussy to like break the rules. I guess. Well, he tried. You know, I take that Shang back. He Sun. did try the bad guy in the first movie. Yes, because okay. he did try since uh, Scorpion and Sub Zero after him before the tournament. So I guess he did try. Mm-hmm. He ain't try this. Mm-hmm. He ain't do this shit. Mm-hmm. He ain't just say fuck everybody. I'm gonna merge these worlds. My way, quick. yeah. My way or the highway. Yeah. So he's giving out missions. He's telling you know, Liu Kang and Katana, y'all need to go fuck with Night Wolf. Sonya, I'm gonna roll with you. We're gonna go get Jax. Yes. We need more people. Yes. But to travel around, they gotta use these fucking spear ball American gladiator looking things. <laughs> so then go through a fucking tunnel. In the middle of Earth. In the lava. In the underground. Oh, I wrote it down. Chambers. It's called a Vela Spear. Oh, they named it. Yeah, I, I wrote it down in the fucking thing. Yeah, okay. I wrote that That's somebody I wrote down before that somebody got the door. Who got the door? I don't remember no more. When they were talking and he was yeah. like, shut up, and he opened the door for him. Like, that's yes, right. He gave a literal door. Yes. That's like, thank you for remembering that. Yes. Because Sonya, like, Raiden is giving out the missions, and Sonya's down there bitching. <laughs> and they're, we couldn't save Johnny and all this bullshit. Mm-hmm. And eventually, Raiden is just like, enough! And shoots a fucking wall and breaks it and creates a literal door and gives it yes. to Sonya. Like, get your ass through the door and shut the fuck up. We have shit to do right now. Literal doors in this movie. Yes. <laughs> That was good. Filmmaking. So they go through the, the thing. They have a tunnel ride. You want to tell them about the tunnel ride, PJ? The tunnel ride. The, oh. the Bella Spears. I know. Who was Lu Kang and... Lu Kang. Well, Ray and Sonya went first. And then, you know, after they was gone, Lu Kang and Katana went second. Yeah. And Lu Kang... And she's telling them about... Because he's basically like, what the fuck is this shit? Yes. The tunnels. And she's like, well, you know, these tunnels are made. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. With the lava and the yeah. heat. Yeah, that's the thing. It's the bullshit the about world. it. It's because th- these tunnels, you think, oh, it's just a tunnel to somewhere. But no, there's a fucking connector part that you have to lean real hard to the yes, side. Yes, hard or right. Or you will fall into the lava. It's like, who invented this shit? Where is the architect for this shit? I want to see from now. And maybe that's how you know if you were meant to be in the tunnels maybe, or not. Maybe, I guess so. Because if so, you're going to fuck up and then you're dead. You just crash into the wall just yeah. like a lava bath. Yes. yes. But there was some pre-securing going on. Yeah. I, in yeah. the tunnels. She said, hold on tight. And he hold held on, on to me. Hold on to me. Yes. But see, the thing is, they're holding on to the handles of the ball. So it's like, do you want me to die, bitch? Like, what do you want me to do? Ah, ha, ha. See what holding you did on to the handle of the ball. Yes. Not yet, because it's pre-secured, like you said. Yes. We're getting there. Yes. We're getting yes. there. I mean, from the first movie, it should be already. <coughs> right. <clears throat> but that's what Liu Kang, though, is funny because he's like, she's like, hold on to me. But he can't really hold on to her. So she just kind of leans forward into his chest. Yes. And it's just cut. Out. It's a shot of her like looking like distraught, like, "Oh my god, what's going on?" But then it just it cuts to the other side of Liu Kang, just smiling like, "Yeah, yeah. <laughs> get closer, girl. You feel, you feel that bulge, don't you?" Yes. Damn it, Liu. It's Kang. all right. It's all right, girl. It's only my penis. <laughs> it's still a joke for family, y'all. <laughs> That's funny. That's how I had that oh. look on his face. He had the quagmire face for real. So yeah, right. He's smiling super hard. <laughs> the smirk, the half smirk. Like, no, it was not even that. Motherfucker's teeth were showing. <laughs> I'm gonna get some pussy. I'm gonna get some pussy. I'm gonna get some pussy. Beat that shit right up. Oh. <laughs> Ruin your childhoods again. Mm. No, but after this, um, there's a scene where Shao Kahn and Shinnok, who you find out later is this motherfucker's dad, which does not mm-hmm. follow the plot of the video games at mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. They're down there, and, you know, Shinnok is basically, like, over Shao Kahn. Well, it's his dad, so he'd be over him anyway, but you get what I'm saying? Shut up. You get what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. And he's like, Father, the merger has begun. You know, it is glorious. And he's like, tell me, did you uh, make Raiden beg for his life before destroying him? Yes. And Shao Kahn has this look like, uh... Shit. 
So he does a flip for no reason, just random flips. He's like, Raiden is no, of no concern to us. Mm-hmm. And Shaq gets so pissed that this motherfucker literally glides <laughs> to Shao Kahn. He does like like a Spike Lee shot. He just glides yes. forward, but way faster because Spike Lee does it slow. This motherfucker's like, no! <laughs> Repeat that. Say that again. So and he's like, you let him live? And Shao Kahn's like, yo, he could not be stopped. Mm-hmm. And so, but then they start talking about the tournament and the mergers and about them breaking the rules and whatnot. Blah. Move on. <laughs> Down in the caves, Katana and Liu Kang get out the ball. And he's actually about to secure some shit because she's like, you know, he's like, I'm not going to lose you too. You know, I done lost everything else. Yes. And they're leaning in for the kiss, but you see the thing of smoke is gliding across the floor and it forms up behind him and it becomes, oh shit, it's smoke. The robot version. Ah. And a bunch of lackeys come. So Liu Kang is fighting smoke. Katana's fighting lackeys. And for a while there, uh, Liu Kang is getting his ass beat. Yes. He gets his ass beat a lot. A lot in this movie. And it's hilarious. We will talk about the hilarious near the end. My favorite part. (laughs) Yes. This part is pretty good too, though. Hmm. Because eventually he does start to get some hits in on smoke. And smoke is like, oh, really, though? He pulls up. He shoots a missile out his chest. Liu Kang dodges it. And he's on the ground. He looks up. Smoke is standing over top of him. And Smoke just starts kicking him in the face. Like, get, yes. the, get the fuck up off the ground, you bitch. <laughs> like, you bitch you. He's even kidding. Like, get the fuck up. Like, <laughs> Curb stops. Yeah. But eventually, like I said, he gets the upper hand on your boy again. Mm-hmm. And he's better, he about to shoot another missile. Sub-Zero just comes out of fucking nowhere and glides across the ceiling. The top, yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Freezes smoke, and Liu Kang has to kick him down because he has that missile still in his chest. Mm-hmm. And he goes into this real abrupt, like, bad-looking cut of him lunging forward after kicking it in an explosion and everything. PJ, did you know that smoke was a part, and well, in the games at least, was a part of uh, Sub-Zero's ninja clan, the Lin Kuei. What's he? So that was one of his people's. Well, in, that's the video, in, the, in the video games... The Lin Kuei, you usually know the Lin Kuei was Sub Zero's people, the Shirai Ryu was Scorpion's people's. Wow. Yeah. And um, to, to get an upper hand on the Shirai Ryu, the Lin Kuei was like, yo, let's take our fighters, like, brains or bodies or something. Let's, let's basically put them in robots. Like, to give them. Sub Zero's people. Yes. Mm hmm. And I'm pretty sure it was Smoke, but Smoke was like, like his people's. That was his boy. And he was pissed off about him being put inside a robot. But. So, so all the robots, <laughs> Smoke, Cyrax, Sector, were all Lin Kuei cats. Cyrax? Okay. Okay. Whoa, that motherfucking voice that just came out your mouth. My, what happened? No, you didn't, oh, I hope they heard that on the microphone. PJ coughed, and his voice went up like five octaves and shit just now sound like. <laughs> Back in my, my former days. So he was like, oh, Cyrax. Like, whoa, <laughs> that was like high school flashbacks. Now in my younger days, I used this for the shit. Yeah, yeah. You sounded just like a mob, bro. Wow. No, no, I wasn't even mob. That was the far side you sang. That That's was right. the far side. My, in my younger days, I used to sport a shank. In my just, younger days, I went to yeah. school. I carried lunch in the bag. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell for, for my teacher? Oh, Always man. got mad when the class was dismissed. <laughs> so how? I wish I could give her a hug. <laughs> far side is listening to this like, what the fuck are they doing? All right, sorry, guys. That was fat lip, wasn't it, at the no, end? Oh, the lip at the end. Yeah. yeah. Nah, those are bars for days. <laughs> you know, Ma, I was telling them who Ma is, PJ. Back in the days yeah. when I was young, I'm, I'm not, not a kid, kid anymore, anymore, but some days that's it. I wish I was a kid. Now, everybody say, I wish, God damn it. Oh, my. Yeah. Good times, good times. Good what times. Was I talking about? Oh, it's about right? Yes. Oh, sorry. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So. He, he basically fucks up his boy because like I said I think Smoke was like his closest homie he just fucking murders him in this movie but I'm pretty sure it's not following the game plot because hardly any of this shit really is. yeah they all just popped up so that was the last time we saw Smoke yeah yeah that's mm-hmm. the thing characters come in and out of this shit mm-hmm. rapidly even if they don't die they just don't come back right like when we get to Night Wolf he just doesn't come back is like, you- Fujin in, in, in any of them? The guy, the tornado. I want to say technically he was in this movie. I want to say no because there was an elder god that looked like wind, and you know he was like the wind god. So I mean, technically they don't name wow. him, but I guess you could say that was Fujin. I guess. Hmm. Or if you want to really get geeky, well, I guess not because he came back in Mortal Kombat Four. But I'm gonna say in Mortal Kombat Mythologies, which takes place before Mortal Kombat One video game, Sub Zero kills that motherfucker. Well, he doesn't even kill him. Damn. He kills himself in that game like an asshole. Because you do beat Fujin in that game. Mm-hmm. And then he's salty. So he does this like tornado thing. Mm-hmm. And if you don't know what to do at that moment, you get sucked into it and it's automatic death. So it's like you just bought, you, you know, I fought this nigga, I beat him. You die instantly. You got to do it all over again. Damn. 
but the trick in that the trick to it is i found out years ago because a lot of times we would just when we knew it was coming we would go like toward the edge because it's a platform that you can fall off of mm-hmm. and he used to fuck me up because Eric, he has this move where he can like if you jump at him sometimes he'll like glide over to you grab you and punch you and if you yes. do that shit too close to the edge he'll just punch you you'll just fall off the edge okay you like ah fall off the shit but i'm um, not nah, the thing i was gonna say when you knew he was about to die and that form was coming you would run to the edge and you would just like hold down the fucking run button and it would like usually you could get to it but it'd be like just a tiny bit of space like you can just do it found out years later that if you go to the edge and hold the down arrow it does a thing where he grabs onto it and it just like it animates him just like floating toward it so he didn't even have to do all that bullshit he just go around and hold down we didn't find that out until wow. years later I think I bought one of those PlayStation code books yes that told me that and I was like that's all you had to do wow but those still come out no uh, no because there are no cheat codes no more oh really games don't have cheat codes no more because of online play what does that mean they don't put cheat codes in games because they don't want motherfuckers cheating online Oh, so yeah, online play kill cheat codes. Thank you, bastards. Oh. Some games still do it, like Saints Row does it, Grand Theft Auto does it. But the thing they do now is if you the games that have cheat codes, if you put them in, you just can't like um, you can't get any of the little achievements or trophies and shit. Cause you're just playing with the cheats. Yeah, so you're not really achieving much. But I don't care. So you're not achieving much. <laughs> you're not get... playing the game right. Right. Damn. But I say all that to say. Fujin kills itself because if you hold on long enough, it ends with him basically blowing the fuck up and his head spinning in the fucking cloud. Or the tornado. Wow. But he comes back in Mortal Kombat 4, so fuck me. I'm, I'm <laughs> full of shit, I guess. <laughs> but to answer your question, possibly he's in this movie. Okay. I don't know for sure. <laughs> okay. But Sub Zero, like I said, helps. And Liu Kang is like, yo, I thought I killed you in the last movie. You killed my older brother. Yeah. Which, as I told you during the movie, is actually with the video games because. Sub Zero dies in the first tournament, comes back as new Cybot, the like all black ninja. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He's telling him also that Katana is the key to Khan's plot, the way to stop the portals and all that. But as they're about to go, he makes a little ice bridge for them to cross and everything. Yeah. Fucking Scorpion comes out of nowhere and he has right. two scorpions in his hand this time because it's the sequel and we need to do bigger shit. Yes. We got two of them. The budget. That's right, we got 30 million <laughs> fucking dollars if you guys can believe that. <laughs> So they fight, pretty much. Like, yes. I don't know what else to say. Fighting twos. I'll ask you, because they already know I like this movie. So how, what did you think about the fight scene? Did you like it? Uh, that was a decent fight scene. It was, yeah. This one of my I favorite mean, ones in the movie. There were other ones that were better. Really? Yes. I like that one. That one was the, when we were kids. That was the cool one, because he, like, did the one move where he, like, jumped over him and he, like, did the little walk across his head and kicked that him back That was that one. And then he did, yeah. the, they did the thing where they flipped at the same time and the scorpion yeah, came out. doing it? Yes. That, that was good. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Sonya had a good fight scene. In the mud? Yeah. Is it because it's in the mud? No. Oh, okay. she was actually... Whooping ass? Yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll get to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what happened? Oh, he, Scorpion ends up knocking Sub-Zero. Because they're fighting over top lava. And it's almost like a yes. pit scenario. Aren't they still in, in the... They're still in like the little spear Earth area. Things, thing. yeah. yeah. Okay. So he, Liu Kang goes to help Sub-Zero so he doesn't fall in the acid. But then Scorpion pops up behind Katana and snatches her. Says, suckers! And jumps into the portal. Yeah. But PJ, mm-hmm. I had to fall. I had to pause it for you because you didn't notice it. We didn't notice it for a long time either. But if you guys want to see some goofy shit, watch Mortal Kombat Annihilation. And it, there's a cut. It shows Liu Kang reaching down to grab Sub Zero, and it cuts to a long shot for some fucking reason. I don't know why I even did this, mm-hmm. but it's a long shot. And you see uh, Liu Kang and Sub Zero on one side. Katana is over there on the other end. But somebody was either too far in the shot. Yes. Or they did their thing too early but you can see scorpion behind katana before he's supposed to be there because yeah. he's because in the next shot he does a teleport like oh here i am but if you were eagle eye viewer you saw he was already in the last shot yes. because of filmmaking i know the director had to be mad during the final cut <laughs> who is that watching God. the theater like who the f- oh, who the fuck let he that really? pass <laughs> like motherfucker you directed it oh <laughs> <laughs> uh. So you're not gonna make another movie for like ten years. Yeah, God damn. <laughs> it's hilarious though. I love it. It's the shit like that. Like that shit feeds me the energy that I need from these type of movies. I love it. Whereas other people look at this and I'm like, oh my god, this is so horrible. I look at this and I'm like, yes, I fucking love it. <laughs> this is what I do it for. As I say all the time, the mystery science theater in me like flourishes with these type of movies. I'm like, yes, feed me more. Yes. Like why back, motherfucker. Yeah. Wrestling reference. Mm, didn't get it. Yeah, wrestling reference. It's a newer, newer wrestling reference either. Oh, see? I'm not here. <laughs> but, so, that, you know, Katana gets kidnapped by Scorpion. Mm-hmm. You cut, and Sonya finally gets to the little place where Jax is. It's like a little hospital facility. 
Because yes. he got his metal arms put on. In the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But while they're getting out, because, you know, Jax is... Because Jax is the funny guy in the movie. He's saying all these little one-liners yeah. and shit. He's like, oh, I wish I had these babies back in high school. All that type of shit. <laughs> but Riser getting ready to escape. is a fucking explosion. His door flies open. And it's Cyrax, the yellow ninja. Yeah. And so they get into a fight scene where Sonya's fighting some lackeys. And Jax is pretty much getting his ass beat by Cyrax. <laughs> Pretty much, he was. He <clears throat> definitely was. He didn't know how to work him yet, I guess. Yeah, I guess. This motherfucker ended up getting his arm stuck in a wall. Because it gets yeah. to the point where he finally starts getting some hits, and he's got Cyrus up against the wall, and he's just beating the shit out of him. Like, <laughs> get some, get some. All that shit. And he ends up, like, Cyrus dodges one punch, and he goes through the fucking wall. Mm -hmm. But then Cyrus is still standing, so he kicks him in the fucking face so hard, it looks like it's like face caved in for a second. Yeah. On some Punisher type shit. <laughs> and so Sonya beats up all her motherfuckers, and they end up. She's a pulling him out the wall. Mm -hmm. Oh, but then before this, Cyrax, he doesn't have a missile in his chest. He has like some little, like, uh, I don't know what the fuck to call it. Like some little things Energy that just eat you. Yeah. Skin eating, flesh eating, yeah. bacteria bomb or something. Because some guy gets pushed in front of it and it eats all his skin and, and stuff away until he turns into just a skeleton. Mm hmm. <laughs> Jax somehow knows that he can block this. I don't know how he knew this because I, I figured he has like, state of the arms. I, state of the arts. State of, state of the arms. State of the <laughs> arts arms. There you go. I guess so, you know. Cybernetic strength enhancers, motherfucker. What? Cybernetic strength enhancers. That's the real name? That's what he said in the movie. Wow. Cybernetic strength enhancers. Yeah, so he blocks the little bullshit. And then smart move, though. Sonya doesn't just run across. She actually jumps off Jax's back so she doesn't step in the shit. Yes. He does it twirls his ass into a, some pipes and they knock over I guess I don't know what the fuck it is that she blew at him but some like powder shit on the ground some chemical like you and said. she does the <laughs> kiss yeah she does the kiss of death move from the video because this is a fatality and again she blows mm -hmm. a kiss and kills you mm -hmm. but she as she as Jack says barbecued his ass <laughs> he has a tattoo on his back that comes to life and disappears and mm -hmm. under it is a fucking bomb so they yes. have to run out and Jack says I wish I got myself some new legs yeah funny guy <laughs> and then the explosion happens and they do this hilarious jump in front of a green screen that looks Whoa, hilarious boy 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 <laughs> that one right there got me too How'd you that's know? like the last uh scene with luke kane oh yeah <laughs> oh we'll get to it i can't wait but after that happens oh what'd you think about that fight scene though like it was good okay no yeah yeah that was decent that was decent uh, <laughs> Bad guys are just like it was, it's Sindel, not Sindel. You know what is Sindel in there? So Sindel, Shiva, Motaro, Rain, and Ermac, and they're just beefing and talking shit. Mainly Motaro and, and Shiva. And I for, oh, Shao Kahn comes in there, and he asks, he's asking Rain like, "What's your status support?" It's like two of Earth's warriors have been captured: Cabal and Striker. You know Cabal and Striker from yes, the game. Yes, okay. I do. And Shao Kahn is salty that he just got yelled at by his pops. So he's yelling at other people now. He's like, tell me, did you make them back for mercy before you destroyed them? Mm -hmm. Rain's like, but master, I know we captured them. I thought we can you know, do some shit. And he's like, I have no use for excuses. And for, I guess, intimidation factor, he just grabs a hammer and slams his Mortal Kombat logo. And it starts making noise and shit. I don't, I don't. Yeah, okay. I, I was I wondering what that was about. Intimidation, okay. I guess. Okay. And he's looking at the hammer. He's like, Rain, this will never Happen again. <laughs> Rain's cool. Like, all right, man. My bad. It won't happen again. But before he even finish the sentence, hits him with the fucking hammer and knocks him down this convenient fire pit behind him. Yeah, right. And so Rain is dead as fuck. Didn't even get a fight scene. And then is this where he says he needs a new general, or is that later? Yep. Oh, I need a new general in my army. You can, you can. What do you say? You can die in battle or by my side. The choice is yours. That's what he said. Yes. That's a deep statement. And so <laughs> they start throwing out their little bullshit. And Motaro was like, you know, centaurs are hunters. We can help you. Mm -hmm. She was like, no, Motaro can't be trusted. I would do this for you. Aramac is like, man, don't listen to these bitch ass motherfuckers. All this, all the effort, they waste beef with each other. I would do what I do to gab souls for you. There's no, you far too impetuous for such important work. So it says, you, Queen Sindel, will be my new general because I want some of that ass. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And then he being, of course, after he says that, she all geeked. And he's like, unless any of y'all motherfuckers got something to say about it. You got, you good? Right. You good? What's what, the challenge? What, what's up? What's up? <laughs> you good? All right. That's what Let I thought. Let me know. Go back to your fucking work. <laughs> so, it's Luke Kang. Mm hmm He's out in the fucking desert. Probably wondering why the fuck Raiden sent him out to the desert. There's literally nothing around. But he keeps walking. He winds up stumbling apart. Yeah, because it's daytime when he gets like to the desert. And it's nighttime when he finally comes across Nightwolf's little spot. Yeah. The layer. And you start seeing, you see like a little POV, a low POV shot, and you're like, oh shit, somebody following him. Yeah. It turns out to be a fucking wolf. Attacks Liu Kang. Liu Kang pushes it off, and it turns into fucking Nightwolf because 
It's his animality. PJ, you know about animalities <laughs> from the video yeah. games? No. That. This is a real thing. From Mortal Kombat 3 started it. Mm -hmm. You can turn it to, like, when it... Okay. Started out with just finishers in the games. Mm -hmm. Then they got uh, friendships. And that was put in there as a joke to all the people that complained about it being violent and the fatalities. It's like, oh, well, you can be you can do a friendship thing. Yeah. Like Johnny Cage would, like, sign an autograph and hand it to him. Motherfuckers, some uh, motherfuckers would, like, just, like, shake their, shake hula hoops or something. All this weird shit like that. Okay. And then, there was so there was that. And then, then there were babalities, where they would just turn your motherfucker into a baby. And they would be like, eh, crying and shit. And then, real geek shit, on the Sega Genesis version only, there were furgalities. Mm -hmm. And there's a guy, I can't remember his name, though. That's the only bad thing. But you could do that, and he would turn into, like, some guy that worked on the game. It was only in the Sega Genesis version. Black. Geek, 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 geek. But then in World Kind of 3, they introduced animalities, where you turn into a different animal, and you fucking murder. <laughs> Pretty much. The only weird, the weirdest thing about that is that Scorpion didn't turn into a fucking scorpion. It was always the only like, why. What did he turn into? And something not. I don't remember. But what dragon? So no, no. When the dragon was something. But the thing was, there was a person I don't remember who, but somebody did turn into a scorpion. But it was a scorpion. I'm like, what the fuck are y'all doing, Midway? <laughs> Does that William? They whatever. thought it was was too convenient to have. I guess turn. they're like, ah, you thought. You see, <laughs> you thought they did some Shyamalan shit. Twist, motherfucker. You thought he's gonna turn into a scorpion? They turned into a fucking bumblebee or, bear or some shit like that, or spider. I don't fucking know what he turned into. Oh, shit. <laughs> but they did that, and then they had in that game. They also had brutalities, where you would just literally PJ beat a motherfucker so bad that their body exploded, and nice. bones would just fly out. But it was always dumb looking because there'd be like four skulls and like five rib cages and shit. Like they just threw oh, any bones they had, they just I threw see. on the screen. Okay, wow. And I think that's all the alities they have. So Your far. animality. Yeah. So you would turn. Liu Kang turned into, into a into dragon. dragon. Yeah. Jax turned into. Panther? I don't know. Damn. I can look it up real quick. Huh? Yeah, that's that's kind of interesting. Shang Tsung turns into a large green cobra. Mm -hmm. Sindel turns into a wasp. Jax turns into a lion. <sighs> Kano turns into a spider. Liu Kang turns into a dragon. Mm -hmm. Sonya turns into a large green bird. <sighs> Striker turns into a T-Rex. Smoke turns into a bull. Sub-Zero turns into a blue polar bear. Cyrus mm -hmm. turns into a shark. Sector turns into a bat. Nightwolf turns into a wolf. Of course. Shiva turns into a scorpion. The forearm chick. Wow. Kung Lao turns into a leopard and Cabal turns into a oh, rhino. Wow. There you go. So that's more coming through. Okay. So Sh Shiva that turns into the fucking scorpion. Out of yeah, that's weird. So yeah. The fuck were y'all thinking midway? They weren't. <laughs> but like I said, uh night will turns back into the human form. He's like, pretty cool, huh? It's my animality. Animality. So he basically says, you know, Luke, hey, you, you wrote, uh, Ray's new protege, he says, you ain't ready. So he's like, well, there's an easy way and a fast way to get into this dream sequence you got to do to become, you know, stronger. Mm -hmm. I ain't got time for the slow way. He's like, that's what I thought you say, motherfucker. Bah! <laughs> him in the fucking face with a hatchet. <laughs> Thank God he got good aim because he could have really just split my man's face open and just fucked the whole human race up. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh no, was it, I'm not even, was it Tomahawk maybe? Oh, Tomahawk or Hatchet either one. Hatchet, I can't remember in the game if it's that, which one it is, but whatever. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Tomahawk in the game. Because he has the shit in the video, I just can't remember what it's called. That's the Tomahawk, that's okay. it. <laughs> oh. He hits Duke right in the fucking face with it. And I guess it's been since Duke has some kind of like, I guess what, like spirit journey thing? Because he's like yeah. seeing shit in front of him. He sees Katana and she's like, You ain't ready. You let me get captured. You ain't the warrior I thought you were. Some shit. He's like, yeah, What if I fail you? What if I fail everybody? Uh -huh. And she turns into Shao Kahn. <clears throat> he's like, the, the whatever you feel inside you is guilt. You're not the leader and all this shit. And he starts seeing all these different flashes. He's getting hype and Shao Kahn's like, You will fail. And he wakes up. And it's snowing for some mm. fucking reason now. Mm. So either night will really knock him the fuck out into another <laughs> season, or treachery is afoot. <laughs> and it's treachery afoot because he's looking and you see, all you see is legs on the side of the screen. You're like, whoa. You see the cute little Asian chick nice. is sitting right there and she takes her robe off and she's got on like the little, little broad panty joint, yes. basically. And she's like securing, she's trying to secure some dick, apparently. <laughs> and she's like, like that escalated got quickly. it, like grabbing his head, putting it up against her breasts and saying all kinds of shit. And he's like, no. I want some Katana pussy. My heart pussy. is somewhere else. My heart yes. belongs to another. Yes, my heart belongs to another. And she's like, what, nigga? Smack. <laughs> and she fucking does a turn, a spin move, and like, changes her outfit entirely. Mm -hmm. into looks actually like the video game character, except that she ain't black, because Jade is black. There the you go. Game. 
But <laughs> Liu Kang dumbass is looking the opposite way. He's like, oh, I must have been dreaming. And he turned around and it's like, no, bow, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so Jade and Liu Kang get into a fight scene. Jade is whooping that ass for a majority of it. Mm-hmm. Finally gets her down, though. And then <laughs> it's funny. When she's not fighting, I, and when she's like good, I guess her makeup disappears because she had to make up with the sharp eye, pointy shit, yeah. and everything. But when she when he gets her down, like her shit goes just disappears. Clean, yeah. It's like what the fuck? But he finds out that I guess it was one of Night Wolf's tests or something because she's like, I, you know, I, whatever. Oh, she said some Wait, bullshit. so what happened at the end? I will get to that because I was just thinking about that too. Okay. <laughs> so she might have been full of shit because next scene. Oh, <laughs> next scene is a. Uh, Shao Kahn trying to get guess get cool with Katana offers a drink. Like, man, I don't want to kill you, girl, but you know, I just want I need you to do what I'm trying to do. Girl. Mm-hmm. So you just, you know, mm-hmm. you an instrument right now. I'll let you go do whatever. <laughs> but Katana ain't fucking with me because of course she's doing he's doing all this evil shit. And her mom is Sindel. I don't know if he said that shit. And she died. Shao Kahn took over Katana's realm of Adenia and destroyed get, that get, shit. Get, 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 get. <laughs> Killed her or no or had, drove her mom to kill herself, even. Damn. And so Shao Kahn now has brought her back from the dead. To help him with his plot, and he's probably fucking her. So it's like, not only did you destroy my realm, not only did you make my mom kill herself, but you brought her back from the dead, and you're fucking a zombie. So right. fuck you. Right. Spits the shit in his face. He's like, you test my patience, bitch. <laughs> and he just walks away. <laughs> Cut back to the desert again. This time it's Sonya and Jax walking around, and Jax is just complaining as anybody would. Like, what the fuck did I yes. just get pulled into? Like, I wake up in a bed, got robots fighting me. Shooting fucking flesh eating bacteria. <laughs> I'm in a goddamn desert. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and so Sonya gets gets annoyed with him and just walks off and he's just like, whatever. And as she's walking by herself, fucking Melina pops up out of nowhere. And they get into a fight scene in the mud, so you get your little, you know, get the two yeah. hot chicks in the mud fight, you know, yeah. whatever. PG thirteen There you go. Course. PG thirteen sexiness pops yes. off. Because of course she looks at her and she's like, you Katana? She's like, you wish. And he just starts committing to whip with that ass, pulling hair and everything. So, like, where did Melina come from? That was just another. Oh, PJ. Well, ah. Oh, shit. Melina was created mm-hmm. by Shao Kahn and Shang Tsung. She looks like a, uh, oh boy, the one with the blades, like one of his people. Yeah, yeah, she is. Oh. Uh, I think Shao Kahn has Shang Tsung mix Katana DNA with Tarkatan DNA. And that's why she has the teeth, and that's why she keeps the little mask over and all that. Mm. So it's like, I guess it, it's like Katana's like weird stepsister kind of. Okay. Yeah, that's why she was created. So that's, that's weird. Yeah, it is. More kind of a storyline is very weird. We put time into this, I see. <laughs> yeah, a lot of it. Mm. All of the time. All of the time. <laughs> see what you did there. Yeah, anytime a new game comes out, day one purchase, homie. More Kombat X mm. came out, pre ordered, day one purchase, homie. Are they coming out? I fucking. Oh, they are. I'm sure they will. <laughs> When the Mortal Kombat reboot came out, Mortal Kombat 11, I guess you call it. I mean, not Mortal Kombat 11, I'm sorry. Mortal Kombat 9, Mortal Kombat 11 will be the next one. Mortal Kombat 9, they rebooted the first game. They basically was like, look, Mortal Kombat Armageddon ended the storyline and that shit was trash anyway. So let's just start from scratch and retell oh. the first three stories in this game, but change that shit a little bit. Mm-hmm. And so when that game came out, I pre-ordered it. And me and Jeff, when I worked at the hospital, I actually took that day off work to go get that shit at midnight. I was like, fuck this. <laughs> You oh, don't. Oh no, I take that back. I take that back. Cause I got off. I got off at eleven. Me and him went to the the GameStop after that. The waiting line, got the game. And I took off the next two days. Oh, <laughs> damn! <laughs> Fuck the bullshit. Want to play this? Got the collector's edition with the little book in statues and the little collector's edition book. Like it, it goes hard. Huh? Wow. This is not a game. Dedication. Fucking, exactly. Fuck. But, yeah, like I said, they got the little Sonya and Melina fighting the mud. Sonya, of course, wins. Yeah. Melina fucking, I guess, dies because the little tattoo comes off her back, too. Mm-hmm. And there was this little statue that was next to her, and it comes to life. looks like a Men in Black alien or something. Yeah. Jack's defeated by punching it in the ass repeatedly and then fucking elbow dropping it. <laughs> and it just falls into right. the ground. He had the uppercuts in this movie. He yeah, definitely he was, was... Yeah. It was Jax, all right. Tell you, that's the best part of this movie is yeah. Jax, in my opinion. And it's not just because he's black. Exactly. <laughs> Before motherfuckers start talking shit. <laughs> oh, they just like the black man because they black. <laughs> no. <laughs> Shut up. You don't he know He was me. actually funny. He was a funny <laughs> guy. Oh, Raiden talking to the other gods. Goes to the temple that's in the desert. That's where they're all meeting up at. Mm-hmm. He's already there. And they're like, you, we got three questions, motherfucker. What's good? And he's like, basically, like, yo, why was this allowed to happen? He's like, yo, your motherfucking humans, you know, do their own thing. We ain't interfere with that shit. Mm-hmm. Basically, you know, they just basically say, look, it ain't our problem, motherfucker. Look, 
if you want to help him, you want to be mortal, motherfucker. So do you really want to help him? And so Raiden actually gives up his like god godly powers and yes. eternal life and shit. Immortality. Yes. There you go. Good guys all finally meet up, and everybody, of course, is looking at Liu Kang like, "Where the fuck is Katana? Who the fuck is this bitch?" You're right. Like you picked right. up, you lost Katana, and picked up her. That was quick. And of course, Jax is like, "Yo, fuck all the bullshit. What's up, girl? How you doing? You got a nice <laughs> pair of legs. Quit kicking on me with them." <laughs> Right. You know, but as they're sitting there arguing though back and forth, Shao Kahn and his crew are coming and fucking Raiden like flips out of nothingness. I guess yeah. it's supposed to be him flipping out of the building, but it's just like the way it's filmed or cut, he just flips out of midair. Yeah. Like I guess We're he here. can't teleport, I guess. Well no, he gave his powers up. So like, how the fuck did yeah. you do that? He came through the portal. There was no portal though, he just came out of thin air. Ah, you're right. Because he had to make <laughs> the portal to get back. I guess. Uh damn, yeah. <laughs> they got me. No, everybody's fucking look, looking at him all crazy because he looks dressed different and his hair is cut now. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have the long hair no more. Mm-hmm. And he's like, yo, we got to go because Khan and him is coming. Sindel does her little move where she screams real loud and the shit starts blowing up. Well, of course, instead of, you know, aiming at the part they're all standing at, she aims all the way over here. So it like does this thing where it takes a long the time to get to him. reaction. <laughs> like, we want to fuck. Oh, no, I'll take that back because that was actually part of the plan. I'm fucking up. See, I'm talking shit. And there's a reason for it. Because Raiden is trying to open up a portal to Outworld, but he's losing his power. So he, yes. he he finally gets it at the last minute. And Shao Kahn's like, good, they fell into our trap. So mm-hmm. they were trying to force him into the portal so that they would go to Outworld. Yes. That's all. Ah, so they done, They didn't want to kill him, see? That was it. I'm fucking up. But they go to Outworld, and they're talking and shit. They're like, yo, we got to capture Sindel. You know, she's the key to all this bullshit. And eventually they run into Sindel. <laughs> so, but then a bunch of, like, reptile-looking motherfuckers also come. Sindel fucking blasts Raiden through a wall, which, like I said, is a thing. Again, Raiden gets blasted yes, through walls again. repeatedly like an asshole. That was the second time, right? The third time is the first I was like, time. Yes. Yes. Now, that was like, no, this is the third time. He got, this he got the, popped again in the beginning. He got popped twice in the beginning ah, through a wall. This is like the third time. Okay. Well, this is the way. So, he gets into a fight with these little two or three reptile dudes. And this I wrote in my notes, flips, because there's a they're just flipping everywhere. It's like a fucking ballerina <laughs> thing going on. <laughs> to a point where him and a reptile are in front of each other and they're just doing roundhouse spin kicks yes. repeatedly in a circle like four or five times. It's like, what the fuck are y'all doing? What? Well, you know what they're doing. It's every time I go out, you know I got the show out. <laughs> like, look at this fuck. Look at this fucking kick I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> look at the form. The look extension. at the splitting Ooh. But see, but the thing is, because the actor James Ramar is older when this came out, mm-hmm. blatant stuntman work. Yeah, you could tell he was like 20 like 20 something. years younger yes. than this motherfucker. Blatantly in front of the yes. camera. Like, that's, the, that's the thing I love about this movie. Is everything is just blatant. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> we got 30 million. Blatantly we got Scorpion in the <laughs> shot. Blatantly got stuntman in the shot. Blatantly got bad CGI. We don't give a fuck. <laughs> Blatantly. That it's is like me and you made a movie and we like, look, this is what we got. Fuck. <laughs> Home video hustle the movie, bitch. Blatantly, whatever. That should be the title. Blatantly, Home whatever. Home hustle presents blatantly. <laughs> in all capital letters. Oh like three God. B's. Blatantly. <laughs> <sighs> That's great. But eventually he beats all the reptiles and he cut back. Because all the rest of the crew were left to fight Sindel. But the next shot is fucking Jack slamming her fucking face into a rock. And like, yo, that was easy. Get the staples button popping. Wait, are we already here? Yes. Am I thinking we're yes. okay? And we're near the end of the movie. Okay. So, of course, they're, they, since they think they won, they got Katana. She goes over to the mom and she's like, yo, you know, let's let's do this shit. Let's fix this. Yes. And at first you think it's cool because she wakes up. She's like, oh, Katana. <laughs> but then you hear like this fucking thunderclap. And she starts laughing all evil and shit. <laughs> and Katana's like, I knew it was too good to be true. Mm-hmm. She's like, love? I never loved you. What's such a yeah. pitiful excuse for a daughter? What reason was it to love? So harsh. <laughs> so harsh. You also find out here that Jade is bad and she double-crossed him. She's like, yeah. you fool. So you stepped what into the our trap. what happened with that? I, I, I'm she... thinking that she was bad the whole time and just tricked Luke Kang. And Luke Kang, dumbass, thought it was a Nightwolf test. I'm thinking that's pretty much what happened. Luke Kang is just dumb. So then what the fuck happened to Nightwolf? That was just fucked off. He's like, you need to have a vision quest, so bam. I guess there you go. <laughs> I knew you would choose that. Yeah, oh my That's God. what I thought you said. <laughs> Blah, bitch. Right in your fucking face. That man, your man should have had the biggest fucking speed knot the whole rest of the movie. 
It should have looked like a fucking tumor in front of his head. The hard part is he got oh hit with that. God. It should look like the fucking Jean Claude Van Damme forehead bump right in the fucking front of his head. Oh my god. That was funny. That I'm, was. I'm funny. Being, I think that's about it, though, PJ. Just okay. Luke dumb. Okay. And everybody just trusted Luke Kane because he's the Mortal Kombat champion. Yes. But so, <laughs> fucking Jade escapes because Sindel just starts spinning in place and it's distracting them. Like she's lit. the camera, PJ, again, blatantly. <laughs> because when she first starts spinning, you think, oh, you know, she's just spinning because she has powers. The camera pans down to her feet that you see are just like spinning around on her tiptoes or something. Pitter, 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 Why would you show that? Why? That made it look so goofy. It already looked goofy enough. Mm -hmm. Then you made it look goofier because you blatantly just showed her feet. (laughs) On top of the CGI. And Jade is looking. She's like, oh, I can escape real quick. So uh, let me go and get the fuck out of here. So I felt like Jade in one instance back at Wyandotte Lake. Oh, okay. Story time. Story time. I was going on a field trip to Wyandotte Lake. Uh If you don't know or not from the area, Wyandotte Lake is a good old water amusement park. Zumbizi Bay now. Nah, fuck that. Oh, I'm just Swine saying they might Lake. know it. If you say that, then they might be like, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, they don't know yeah. probably what Wyandotte They ain't okay. old school like us. They ain't right. old farts. <clears throat> the right. crap it, niggas. <laughs> But yeah, so I went on this uh, field trip and I wind up taking, of course, I don't know why she, I guess race doesn't matter, but Uh-oh. I took this little white girl's locker. Because <laughs> the way it took was. Took her locker? Yeah, took oh, her locker. Okay. She left her keys in the locker. Oh, I wasn't paying $10 okay. for a locker for the day. <laughs> Look at you fucking criminal. Uh, I know, right? <laughs> so I took the locker and I got the keys and then I got the key. as I was shutting it, her parents came up, she Woo! came up, Woo! like, hey, I think that's my locker, something, something, something. And just as they were, like, really getting into it, a cannon went off. A cannon? Yeah, like, one of the boof. It was, like, something, one of the little... What the fuck are cannons going off for? The, uh, I don't know, over on the kid, kitty side, you know, the little oh, the pirate a... island type shit. Look, you guys, like, I got you, homie. Blah! Yeah, and I literally dipped off as soon as, like, everybody got scared and my ass was gone. <laughs> Still had the keys, didn't come back to the locker till three o'clock when it was time oh, to leave. Yeah, Hell yeah. <laughs> My shit was just in there. <clears throat> that fucking yeah. there. Right? That's how I, I felt like the black guy, the typical black guy right there. PJ giving us a bad name. Right. Since childhood. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> fucking 10 years old. I'm try, I was trying to think about a similar story. I can't think of one right now. I'm sure I've done shit to, like shady like shit. <laughs> I'm sorry if uh, if you ever are listening to this and hear my voice and like, hey, you're the guy. Yeah, I'm sorry. So she's a Homeville Hustle fan and she loved the show and she just heard that. She's like, that motherfucker. You're right. Fuck that. Yeah. Listen to the show the whole fucking time. Right. He's done on the back. I'm sorry. Motherfucker. Never, yeah. My ways have changed. Those were my youth days. Now I'm older and wiser and stronger. I was ready to go. Where's this going? I don't know. I was just apologizing to her. Okay. But, yeah. Do you accept his apology? Let us know at capital H. Capital V. Capital V. Capital V. Lowercase I can. Please. Oh, man. Yeah. Well. But after that bullshit. Mm-hmm. Oh, we skipped a whole fucking part. <laughs> Damn it. See, okay. We didn't even say how fuck Katana got, got uh, out of the cage, dog. Ah, Okay. Real quick, because we didn't already skip this, so I'm just gonna say mm-hmm. real quick. Oh, and I have to. Oh, I'm at, okay, yeah, because there's a funny part here too. To get Katana out, Liu Kang had to go, and uh, while while they were Raiden was fighting Reptile and shit, and they were fighting Sindel, Liu Kang had to go get Katana out the cage, so he's sneaking around, ends up fighting a bunch of Barakas or Turkatas and shit. Mm-hmm. But he knocks not knocks the last one into the fire, and they use the same shot of rain that they used earlier. Literally. That was him falling into the fire. And it was so blatant. It was so blatant. Yes. That I didn't even have to pause it this time. PJ saw it immediately. Like, yes. that was the other motherfucker again. <laughs> so was that? Oh, okay. We, okay. we forgot to film Rocket falling into the fire. So we would just blatantly use the other shot from before. Like, wow. I love this shit. That is 30. <laughs> you're 30 million dollars. 30 million dollars. And you can't even film one more shot of motherfuckers falling into the fire. Like I said, you know what a quick fix would have been? What? You show fucking Brock get kicked into the fire. Mm-hmm. Or kicked down. You don't show him hit the fire. You show Luke Kang like look down like disgust or something. You just see the fire raise up. 
Like, wow. That's a way you could have done it. Filmmaking. Or you could have just established the fucking hole in the ground again better and just show when he fall down, you just kind of figure, oh, he went to the fire. Or... It's sound effect whoosh, in the background. Since you already did it this far, <laughs> the CGI. Just, just yeah. I CGI mean, the rocket? Yeah, just falling down. I don't know, man. They already had to get the Party City mask popping for the, like, Baraka mask. Yeah, they did. It looked bad. That was something. I want, where the fuck did the $30 million go? <laughs> like, I don't know where it went. Advertisements. Uh, uh, maybe, possibly. More company. I don't know, because more company was big at the time, so I don't know how much advertising they fucking needed. This is Midway, right? I mean, the game. The game, Midway, yeah, 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 okay. The movie is fucking t- uh, New Line Cinema. You don't yeah. say. It was in the beginning, yeah. So, yeah, so just to get that out there. Hmm. But now, back to the thing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Basically, after all that shit happens, they start talking to Raiden, and they see Raiden has that same tattoo on his back that the other motherfuckers been having that's been flying off. Mm -hmm. And he asked him, like, yo, did it fly off? And they're like, yeah, yeah. He was like, yo, those are temporary. Yes. My bloodline has this tattoo to get safe passage through the portals. And his father was an elder god and all that shit. So Jack's asking, like, if your father was an elder god, what the fuck does that make Khan? Because he can do that shit, too. And he's like, yo, Shao Khan's my brother. And yes. Like, oh. There you go. Not from the video games at all. Hit him where it hurts. So that means in the movies, not in the games, but in the movie, Shang, uh, Shao Khan and Raiden are brothers, and Shinnok is their dad, which is not in the game. Like That's, I wish they would have done better with Shinnok. You only had $30 million. I get it. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, Shinnok looks nothing like the Shinnok in the game. Mm-hmm. doesn't have a stupid red hat or nothing. Yeah. Got the amulet, though. At least mm-hmm. they did that. I didn't notice that till like, the last <laughs> scenes. You know, the crazy thing about this bullshit is that Quan Chi was supposed to be in this movie. There's a poster for this movie that has Quan Chi in the fucking poster. And I think maybe a few other characters. So what the fuck? They took him out. Or they just didn't film him. At the last minute, they just said, no, we don't want him. Wow. And the cool thing about it is the fucking Conquest, like, they put Quan Chi in Mortal Kombat Conquest, mm-hmm. and I fucking love that dude. He's the best as Quan Chi. I wish they had just used that guy in this movie. Wow. See? Right. But they didn't. Yeah, right. This is Mortal Kombat 2. So, after he explains all that shit, cut back to Jade and Sindel to go back to Shao Kahn. I guess he must have got Sindel put put already because he ain't having it no more. He's, like, fucking yelling yeah. at him shit now. Yeah. And he fucking feeds Jade to the little M- men in black monster from before. He comes out the fucking wall and eats her. Mm hmm. She's dead. And uh, it pretty much PJ from this point on is final Fights. battle. Yes. Because um, the, the good guy. Well, Ra- oh, because Raiden. Oh, this made me laugh. That's right. Raiden is telling them all that basically y'all, y'all gotta go to the final battle. Y'all gotta beat this shit. I'm mortal. I can't really do much. So Luke Kane's like, what will we do? And Raiden's like, you will do your best. <laughs> Me and my yeah. brother say that all the time. Whenever it's like something stupid happens, like, what are you going to do? Like, you will do your best. Because it's kind of like, fuck y'all. Yeah. I, I mean, I brought y'all here, but, you know, I can't do I shit I got y'all this you. far, so y'all do this shit. I can't. Because the whole thing is, Raiden says, when we were kids, my dad wanted us to fight to the death. Almost like Goro and his brother in that Mortal Kombat cartoon yeah. box. Wow. And um, he's like, I couldn't kill my brother. And he's like, I can't, couldn't kill him then. I can't kill him now. So Liu Kang's like, what do we do? He's like, you will do your best. Yeah. Like, you will go kill him. I'm not doing it. You do it. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be all right. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Motherfuckers get killed every day, B. This is Mortal Kombat. <laughs> you will be all right, nigga. You tough, right? You Mortal Kombat champion, right? Right. Go kill this motherfucker. Wanted to say that shit earlier. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Man, my notes are put versus screenshots because they walk up. And like the video games, people are standing on different tears of a mountain yes with Shao Kahn at the top and it's doing shots like it's zooming on Sonya and then it's zooming on Air Mac basically showing you who's everybody gonna fight the matchups mm-hmm. cause yeah yeah cause then it zooms in on Jax and then it zooms in on Motaro and it zooms in on Katana and then it zooms in on Shindel and then it shows Shao Kahn laughing and then it zooms <laughs> in on Liu Kang <laughs> but then Raiden comes up and Sha- uh, Shinnok's like, yo, what's up, son? Literally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you one more chance to fuck with us and, you know, rule the world and all that. And he's writing is like, nah. And Shinnok's like, why are you so weak, nigga? <laughs> he's like, it's not weak to value life, motherfucker. Right. These he's are like, my human you will, friends. You will, you will die along with the rest of your mortals. Finish him. Mm. Shao kind of like, you should have killed me when you had the chance, brother. Mm-hmm. It's like the brother I knew was already dead. Mm was left of him or whatever mm-hmm. whatever like that he's already dead mm-hmm. <laughs> and so again for the fourth time he gets hit with a fucking projectile and this flies one. backwards yes and, but this time he falls off the fucking mountain thing and onto a fucking rock <laughs> 
and is made humble because he broke his fucking back. And so everybody runs over and is like, was, oh, was, are, you, are you good? Like, he was like, no, I'm mortal now. My fucking back hurts. I'm going to die now. Right? And it's like, you can't, or Luke Kane's like, you can't die, bro. He's like, I'm happy to die like you, a human, a mortal. And then he fucking dies. And it's like, Raiden, you're the most useless motherfucker in both of these movies, even. As much as we love the Raiden in the first movie, he was just as fucking useless. Right. Couldn't do anything. Break the rules. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. So... Liu Kang is pissed. It gives him that, I guess, that energy he needs to get into this fight. Mm-hmm. And everybody starts going at each other. Mm-hmm. And they, uh, for some reason, they already established who's fighting who, but I guess they got to get the catchphrases in now. So they do it again, where they show the two people talking shit to each other now. Because, you know, Motaro growls and starts jumping down. Jax is like, Mr. Ed is mine. <laughs> Sindel starts walking down. Katana, I'll take my mother. Ermac mm-hmm. starts walking down. Sonya Blade, you know, leftovers, leftovers are fine with me. Yeah. And they all start going at it and start getting their asses beat. All of them. To the point where Jax even gets one of his arms ripped off and gets backhanded mm-hmm. with the shit. <laughs> Sonya's doing okay, I guess, but then Ermac is like, oh yeah, bitch. Puts his arms up yes. and fucking noob Cybot just out of yes. nowhere comes out of Ermac's body. But I guess, PJF, I want to get nerdy for a second. Okay. In the games, Ermac still sold, so maybe he had noob Cybot sold inside of him. I don't know. Maybe that's what it was. Uh. But one of the things I always laugh at too is that noob Cybot comes out, Sonya's looking around like, uh oh, and they're both doing like poses, and then they just both kick her in the fucking face yes. at the same time on either side. Boom. Yeah, she got it. She definitely. And that was her whole fight until. Oh yeah, because the thing is, while all this is fighting, you finally cut back, and Liu Kang ain't even got to Shao Kahn yet. Mm-hmm. He's still walking up in slow motion as they're getting their asses beat. Mm-hmm. So he's getting to the point where literally Aramak is punching her into Sha- uh, Noob Saibot. <laughs> Noob Saibot's punching her back into Aramak. It's just like juggling her ass. Bow, Ooh, right? bow, bow. Like she's fucking getting her ass beat more than yes. all of them. Oh shit! But then Liu Kang starts to fight Shao Kahn. And he pretty much gets his ass yeah, beat yeah. for the most part too. Yeah. And I think eventually, I forget how exactly it plays out, but eventually it starts with Jack. Does it? I think yeah, I think they, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. Jack starts it off because he find he rips off his arm because earlier in the movie, he, Raiden was fucking him about his arms. Mm-hmm. He says the arms aren't your strength; they're your weakness. He said, you know, dude, hope is all you really need. Yes. And I guess Jack's thought about that. The moral of the story, kids, and all that. <laughs> So he rips off the other arm yes. and he starts beating the fuck out of Motori. Uppercuts him in his balls, I think. On some real live Jack shit. And then everybody starts winning again because Katana was on the ground. But mm-hmm. then when Jack started winning and the music started to pump up, she puts yes. her hands up when fucking girlie's about to axe kick her <laughs> and starts beating up her mom. <laughs> what? And then Sonya. When was the thing when the music stopped? Oh, that's coming. Uh, We're going to talk about that. That's just the best. But um, Jack beats Motaro. Because at this point, Sonya's like legit be- beaten to the ground mm-hmm. and just yells out, Jax, help! Mm-hmm. So he beats Motaro, runes over there, steals on Noob Saibot, punches him on the ground, and you get that little squishy, like, yes. nah. So I don't know if he like Punisher Warzone, punched a hole in his face or something, but then Sonya gets on top of uh, Ermac's neck and Crack. snaps it from yes. the top. Yes. So Ermac is dead. And then you fuck up. So they're all, they done. They won all their fights. Yes. Liu Kang is still fucking fighting Shao Kahn. <laughs> The final match. Shao Kahn grabs hold of him. He puts him in like a full Nelson type hold. He's basically calling him like a bitch. He almost has him in like a prison rape position. Oh, yes. Because he has him bent over. Yes. has him in full Nelson with his, with Shao Kahn's his paw like over the side of Luke Kang's face. And Luke Kang just looks like he's just like <laughs> fucked. And he says something. And then Luke Kang does his animality. turns into a super bad looking CGI dragon. dragon. Yeah, that was. They could have done And of course, better. Jackson, Sonya, and everybody are like, what the Fuck animalities. And Luke Kang, or Shao Kahn's like, most impressive. You came prepared, but so did I, or whatever, or something mm-hmm. like that. And he turns into like a Hydra, oh, three headed thing, name of him? like three headed no. like Greek mythology looking thing. Yeah, yes, yes. And they get into a super, super whack ass fight <sighs> that looks terrible. <laughs> yeah. All they pretty much do is scratch each other, and then they fight to the point where they just fall off the fucking side of the yes. cliff and hit the ground, and they both turn back into normal. And then and you find out Shao, uh, yeah, Shao Kahn has a scratch on his neck. He's like, your blood flows, Khan, just like the blood of a mortal. And Shao Kahn looks up at Shinnok and is like, how the fuck can this be? And he's like, Shinnok is like, man, I told you there would be rules for breaking these, uh, or there would be consequences for breaking the rules of Mortal Kombat. Mm-hmm. And so the, the fucking elder guys come down. They make Shinnok get his ass on his knees. And they're like, the fate of mankind would be, be determined as it should be in Mortal Kombat. 
Yes. It actually does. I'm not joking. When she says, it's Mario, I can roll out. And so it's like, it's hype time now. You think, okay, it's time for Luke Kane to get his fight on. <laughs> Shao Kahn's ripping off his little whatever, his little shoulder pad things or whatever. And they go at it with the Mortal Kombat theme playing. But this is what PJ alluded to earlier. The music is pumping, everybody's hype. It's like, yeah, 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 rah, rah, rah. Beat Shao Kahn's ass. No. Shao Kahn beats the fuck out of Liu Kang and starts stomping him. And the music just abruptly stops. Because even the music is like, oh, <laughs> damn, man. You getting your ass beat. Like, no, turn it down. It's like, because it's like, da 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 Shit, damn, uh, I, I thought we was doing this, Lou. Uh, DJ, like, yo, DJ in the corner of the screen, like, off screen, like, uh, I'll, I'll give it a minute and run that shit back a little bit. I got you when you're ready. Oh, shit. <laughs> you weren't ready, my bad. That is, like, honest to God, is, I, that is my favorite oh, thing in this whole gosh. entire movie. That was funny. It's That's just funny. the music just, like, fading out. Because then he starts, because he's literally getting stomped. He's getting fucking stomped. And Shao Kahn is just growling at him. <laughs> oh, just, shit. just, oh, it's the best. Please look that up this funny. fucking fight scene that just for was... that. I should have put it in the YouTube oh, video if I was thinking. Oh, my gosh. But, man, yeah, it's just, it's, it's bad. That's funny. That was, yes. <laughs> yes. But I don't remember oh. what exactly happens. Eventually, Liu Kang just gets up and gets the energy to fight him back. And he fucking start when he starts getting hits back in. Then the music comes back. He picks back. Yes. It's almost like you can just hear the little like the record start back. Like I'm revving up. And he fucking does a he does the um a cartwheel like kick like almost out of Tekken like almost one like doing martial law does he does that little cartwheel kick. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got that reference. And, <laughs> and Shao Kahn falls into the steps, and he's defeated because. Whereas other people that had the temporary tattoo had the little tiny dragon fly out of them, mm -hmm. a whole entire dragon comes out of Shao Kahn's body yes. to the point where his shit just looks like skin on the steps. Yeah, right. And so he's dead, I guess. And Shinnok gets put inside like a fucking cube or something. Yeah, and vanishes. Yeah, he just like, I goes guess, off into a black hole. He's just the elder god gel, I guess. <laughs> and everything starts going back to normal. You see the Golden Great Gate Bridge is back, the Twin Towers in New York, I guess, are back, and all this shit is just back to normal again. Well, yes. That's and to the word. point where Liu Kang is just like standing there and he's actually back at his temple with all the monks and everything standing there and it's like, oh. And even Sindel comes back good and back to normal again. Like yes. normal stuff. Everybody's happy. Raiden is even brought back to life by the Elder Gods. They're like, yo, you did your thing out there. Sacrifice yourself. Right. I mean, you, you kind of went out like a bitch though. But I mean, you <laughs> did your thing for your people so you can be an Elder God now too. <laughs> He did go damn. But before he leaves, he goes over to them and he's like, "Yo, y'all, you done me proud, man. Love y'all. Right. Be a family now. I'll be watching over y'all. Mm -hmm. Peace." And it ends with them all walking off together, a little happy little family group. Cut to the Mortal Kombat dragon being all broken. It comes back together. Flames. Bow. Credits. Boom. End of the movie. Boom. And that, my good people, is Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Yes. Yes, it is. Damn that shit. I was weak. It's funny as fuck. Was, yes. Now, PJ. Mm hmm. What did you think, though, score wise, about Mortal Kombat Annihilation? It wasn't as good as the last one. Definitely. I, I think most people agree with you on that one. Uh, uh, I mean, to be fair, I still, you know, liked it, though. It mm -hmm. wasn't bad because it was all fight scenes. It's like nothing but was... fights. Like like I said, without credit, this is an hour and 23 minutes. Yeah. And it barely stops with the You don't plot. need the character development. No. The character development. The, the plot movie. is taken care of in the beginning. Yeah. But you see, it's a continuation. The Earth so was created like... in six days so yeah. to be destroyed. Like, you got a week to beat these <laughs> motherfuckers. That's all y'all need to do. I got <laughs> five days to fight and win. So, mm, I'm going to go seven. Seven? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is one point lower than the first one. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. I mean, especially when you compare it to IMDb with a 3.7 out of 10. Yes, and a that is 5 percent or no, a 3%, 3 percent out of 100. <laughs> like I said, all of those people can suck all of my dick because I'm giving this one an 8 out of 10. Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> 8. Yeah, yes. the first one, the 10 plus, is not as good, like you said, yes. but it's highly entertaining as fuck. Yes, it is. Granted, as I told in the stories, it's part of my childhood, so people are like, oh, he just said it because of childhood nostalgia. I don't give a fuck. You're damn I, right. This shit's funny. Mm -hmm. It ain't a part of PJ's childhood nostalgia. He gave it a fucking 7. 
it. It was funny. It's hilarious. It was funny. It's funny and it's got mad action in it. Like I don't yeah. I'm I'm not watching Mortal Kombat Annihilation to watch Oscar shit. Like I know what the That's fuck the... you know the job job is dangerous when you get into it, motherfucker. Like motherfucker, like what did you expect? Mm-hmm. In terms of video game movies, there are way worse ones than this, believe that. Street Fighter The Legend of Chun Li is garbage bag compared to this shit. Never seen it. Uh, one day, bro. We're going to have to endure that one day. One day. I pay movie theater money to watch that bullshit. Oh. Yes. I yeah, see. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bullshit. Ah. Seven and eight. I Man. bet pe- people probably figured that, I'm sure. Why well, don't, didn't they? Everybody's reposting our thing on Twitter talking about, oh my God. Yikes, I'm, I feel sorry for them picking this movie. Like, really? Why? You know we're going to like this shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. This is exactly up our alley. Up our, yeah, I was about to say, this is the shit My we favorite like. fucking comic book movie is Punisher Warzone. Like, motherfucker. <laughs> that says a lot. That does say a lot. We gave Dolomite a 10. We gave Demolition Man a 10. PJ gave Star Wars a fucking 5. Like, PJ. I thought that was normal. PJ. Mortal Kombat Annihilation, better than Star Wars. Damn right. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I mean, I ain't done that in a while. I had to get that in there. There will be, yeah. I was about to say better than James Bond, but that's... Well, you can add a 10, though, or 9. I mean, yeah, whatever. yeah, see? That's why I had to... Nah, this ain't no, better than is... Doctor No. I give you that. No, no, it is not. <laughs> no, it is not. Did you like this better than Street Fighter? Yes, I did. Did you? Yes, I, I did. Shit. That's an opinion. I'm sure a lot of people don't also agree with <laughs> Fuck it, why not? Hey, you like what you yeah, like. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I was say I can't tell you why. Believe but me, there's I a lot do. of movies out there people like that I think are fucking trash too. You know? Star Wars. <laughs> well, that's you. That ain't. Star Trek. You didn't even watch Star Trek yet. Yeah, I just yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I you gonna like probably you probably don't like Star Trek because it's more science and shit, uh, and you like that science uh, type shit. I do. You wanna watch it and find out, motherfucker? Like, no. Hey, there you go. Then shut up. That's Halloween. <laughs> That'd be my Halloween right there. I'm telling Star you, Trek. I'm gonna I'm I'm put Star Wars in the back. <laughs> That's gonna be your Halloween nightmare. You gonna pick yeah, Star right? Wars one day? People be like, oh, why are you gonna watch the Star Wars for Halloween? Listen and find out. <laughs> PJ's going to be in a nightmare zone. You just That's his don't nightmare know. on M Street. <laughs> God damn. Freddy Krueger in form of fucking Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Speaking of, what's up? Are y'all ready for this? Yeah. This is the last week, motherfuckers. You ready for this? DLC reference. It's Ah, funky enough. Ah, yeah. Hip hop, hip hop. My bad. My bad. I need to cut you off. Continue, PJ. No, no. I was just asking them if they were ready. Are y'all ready for the hustle holidays? It starts next week. Yeah, next week until fucking January. January. It's holiday season. That is. I already got the movies picked out for this first week's bag, and I am excited. Yeah, There's makes. a chance we're either going to talk about some extremely weird shit. Oh, shit. We're going to talk about some classic movies. Mm. We're going to talk about hashtag child murder. Mm. Lots of it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> wow. And we're talking about one of my absolute favorites is in that bag. I am intrigued now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's some shit in that bag, bro. I can't. I think no matter what you pick, we're going to have some lot. We're going to have a lot to talk about. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Some I will like, some I will... I'm pretty sure you might like... Well, there might be one you might like. Okay. <laughs> That's the really weird one that I love. Okay. So, yeah. Has Mystery Science Theater done it? No, but I will tell Is you... Is it this, Criterion? You, yes. It's ah. Criterion, actually. But I'm going to tell you this in advance. We haven't watched any, and I don't even know if you've ever seen any, but we're going to watch some old... 50s horror movies eventually. Mm. 50s, 60s, black and white Mystery what is Science Theater level. It's 1960s horror. Ah, okay. I can do Only that. The only reason then. we ain't do Psycho is because I know we've already seen it. That's yes, why we did. That's true. why we skipped ahead to Psycho Three. Yes, yes, we could put Psycho Four. I have not seen, you that, seen one. that. Or Psycho yeah. Remake. That's trash. I haven't seen that one either. Right. The Psycho Remake is a shot-for-shot remake of the original. They so, did that on purpose. Yes. Ah, fuck it. They, the director okay. wanted to do a shot-for-shot remake of Psycho because he said kids won't want to watch the original because it's in black and white. So they did a shot-for-shot remake but put it in color. All because he felt people wouldn't want to watch the original because it's in black and white. And how did that do? Well, let's look at the box office. Oh, I can tell you, it. everyone hated it. Okay. Uh, how it did financially, let us find out. Okay. Psycho. Well, I'm glad he was moved enough in order to recreate that film. That's, that makes me angry, though, as the kids. <laughs> won't watch it because it's not in color. Fuck you, asshole kids. Suck my dick. Little shit kids. Exactly. Well, I don't watch it because it's in black and white. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't want to watch it because it says subtitles. Fuck you. All right, subtitles be the best one. Hey, thank you. 
Yeah. Oh, fuck. The Psycho remake cost $60 million to make, and it made $37.1. Oh. Because nobody wanted to see a shot for shot remake of Psycho. Damn. Is that is that a does that have a what is it a genre if you do like shot for shot remakes or something or is that waste just, of time ah so that's one of man. the only movies I know of that is a shot for shot <laughs> okay I thought maybe he wasn't the only one maybe nah, he, I mean there, no. there might be I just don't know off the top of my head ah. I can't think of one I mean if you want to be funny acting some people will say Star Wars The Force Awakens is a shot for shot remake of the original but that's people being assholes right? mm. I keep that in mind yeah we'll, we'll okay. get to it one day. Fuck around, make all the January Star Wars <laughs> Oh, shit. That would be good for the Get rest of the year. Yeah. God damn. But, yeah. But, yeah, Halloween Hustle coming up, man. And this first bag, man. I can't wait. Can't wait. Can't wait. Yes. Might even have some guest spots coming up. Oh, shit. You got people interested to talk horror with us. Okay. So, shit might be popping. This was the... Oh, get ready, guys. Get ready. PJ Mobile, so shit gets, is a lot easier now. Yes. We can get shit really popping. We're back, guys. We're back. That's right. And if you want to get in contact with us yes. to talk about any of this shit, mm-hmm. follow Twitter at capital H, capital V, capital H, capital P, lowercase, I can. There you go. That's pretty much me. <laughs> if you want to holler at PJ directly, mm-hmm. capital P, lowercase, A-U-L-Y, capital P, lowercase, J, Pauly PJ. There you go. The spirit is at the spirit 95. Mm-hmm. Nick is in the chair, as his name suggests. <laughs> Well, not today, though, but whatever. Um, <laughs> Facebook.com slash HVH Podcast. Instagram, we are Home Video Hustle Podcast. Just search it in the bar. I show your ass. We will be there. Mm-hmm. And uh, YouTube. That's right. YouTube. Search Home Video Hustle in the search bar. I show your ass. We there, too. Yes. And we got new videos every Wednesday. Yes. If you want to know what videos coming up on Friday, talk, or watch the video on Wednesday. Bam. Boom. Go to Redbubble.com if you want our faces on your body. Buy t-shirts and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. Hit up ageofradio.org slash home video hustle because that's the podcast network we own. Yes. That's where you find all the episodes at. That's the new host site. With the back catalog as we described. Everything is there. Like oh, I yeah. said. Like I said before, Podbean is still there. Yes. But all our new shit is on another RSS feed. So if you want to help us out, use the new shit. Podbean is there for you. If you ain't got no other options, fine. Fuck it. Do it. Whatever. <laughs> Download it on both. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> help us help you yeah there you go uh, I think that's about it PJ any, any words for the people uh, no thank you I got as something. always I got something real quick no, sh- we ain't done it in a while and yes. I, I li- I've been we was doing like the albums yes like hustle approved yes. I'm gonna make that a new segment okay this is hashtag hustle approved okay it could be albums or anything so you uh, first of all back, you got anything you want to hustle approve anything you Watched, listened to, played recently. Anything you want to hustle approve? Smoking weed. <laughs> Smoking weed. Hustle approve. There you go. I got something though. What because, is that? Um, I've been listening to a lot of albums and shit lately. Like mm-hmm. shit I ain't listened to in a while. Mm-hmm. And I want to hustle approve Gangstar Step in the Arena album. Wow. Because that is my shit. And I forgot how much I love that album. You took it back. Funny you took it way, st- back. way back. Funny yeah. story with that album. This is pre PJ. Middle school. I'm listening to my CDs because, of course, you know, we had CD players because I'm old and decrepit. And I had to actually carry the CDs with me. So I had a bag with a bunch of CDs in it. And that day I had uh, Stephanie Arena with me. And this little dude was fucking me like, man, don't know I know what that old shit is. So he's like, I bet I bet you the lunch guy won't know because it was like somebody he knew. He's like, I bet lunch guy won't know. I said, all right. So we went over to lunch dude. And he was like, yo, you ever seen this or heard of this album? He looked at it. He looked, made a face. He's like. Yo, that's some good. He's like, where you, where you, you listen to that? Where you get that from? And I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, it looked like, oh, damn. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk all that yeah. shit. Damn. Old heads, no. But that's yeah, man. Great. Hustle approved. Gang star. Step in the arena. F- top three songs Did your... off the top of my head. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep oh, going. No. no, no, no. Keep going. Uh, my favorite three songs I'm not in any order. Take a rest. Check the technique. Mm-hmm. Uh, just, just one more. Just one more. Oh, I love this album. Uh, uh, precisely the right wrong. That might be my top three off that album. Check that shit out, man. Do that. I want to say that's 1991. Let us fact check and see if I'm on my hip hop game still. That was a golden year right there. Yeah, because we were both born. Damn right. <laughs> Damn, I guess so, huh? Yeah. You were at the top, I was at the bottom. Whoa. Wow. Please. Please rephrase what you said. I don't just said. know why shit slips out the way. I apologize, guys. Um, you were at the 
sentence. Yeah, I was about to fuck up. I was born at the beginning of the year. You were yes. born at the end. Full complete fuck, sentences. Man. There you go. There you go. Stephanie. Oh my God. Stephanie Arena was released on January fifteenth, nineteen ninety one. Wow. It was released the day before my birthday. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. And in 2007, it was named the greatest hip-hop album of all time by IGN.com. Damn. Good shit. Legacy. The album was selected as one of the sources of 100 best hip-hop albums. In popular culture, Just to Get a Rep was on Thrasher, Skate and Destroy. That's your game. Shit! <laughs> oh! I had to throw that in there because that's your game right there. Wow. Ain't that the one that got white lines on it? Yes. I still got that shit. I'm about to look at the soundtrack. Hold on. Oh, Thrasher? does say? Oh, it just says they're all from the hip-hop genre, but it doesn't say what songs are on there. Damn. Damn, Damn that whole shit. The manual has a two-page section that's dedicated to the history of hip-hop. Huh, I didn't know that. Did you ever, you ever had a case or you just had a disc? I had the case. Oh, fuck, PJ. What? Hustle approve that shit. That's your game right there. There you go. Hustle approve. Thrasher, Thrasher presents Skate and Destroy. PlayStation a PlayStation One. 1 video game. Skating game, yeah. That's like pre Tony Hawk, but that shit. Is it pre? Let's find out. Gotta be. 1999. That's after. Tony oh Hawk. shit. Around the same time, probably. Thrasher came out September 26, 99. September what? Did I say knife? September. September 26. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn, I'm glad I didn't catch that. Damn, that came out on your birthday. Damn. Fuck, that's how the hell great. did you do this? That's crazy. Oh, my God. My shit gosh. came out the day before. Your shit came right. out the day of. That's they knew crazy. what the fuck was going on. Damn, that's wild. Let's give these niggas something to get into. Damn. Wow. Tony Hawk Pro Skater came out. Oh. Came out September 30th, 1999. It came out after. Shit. Wow. Damn. That's, that's wow. crazy. Wow. Yes. Thrasher. Hustle right. approved. Well, that's probably what happened. Thrasher probably came out and it was cool, but then Tony Hall came out and it was like, no. Nope, yeah, right. Done now. <laughs> <laughs> we can do this, okay? I'm going to put up, I'm gonna have to put up an Instagram post so they can see. I'm going to put a picture of that shit so they can see. What I still got about. the disc. That's so crazy. If you ever bring it over here, you can play that shit. Hell yeah. If it still works, that shit's mm. probably scratched up. I'll, I'll fuck with it see if I get it to work. Mm. I was about to say. Yeah. Is your hustle approval over? Yeah, I'm good. That's okay. definitely arena by Gangstar. The, all it? right. And Thrasher. Thrasher, yep. Scared to destroy. Wow. This one. Were you ever released from school due to oh, here a we heat go. wave? Now, PJ, you went to school with me, so, I mean, you know that we were never allowed out okay. because Gene Harris was like, fuck all y'all. <laughs> that's our superintendent back in the day. Back in the day. To, I saw to, this up. To gosh. tell y'all what PJ talking about, mm-hmm. uh, schools let out yesterday and today because of extreme heat. They let out early. Mm-hmm. And it's like when I first saw that, I was like, "You lucky motherfuckers, man!" Because it could be extremely hot, it could be extremely cold. Your ass is going nowhere. Exactly. PJ showing me a fucking meme of Gene, Gene Harris. Harris. It says early dismissal. Open those windows and turn the fans on. Damn there right. Legit time. It, it was so fucked up when we were in school that we eventually got AC units in the classroom, like tenth grade. <laughs> But middle school before PJ and like ninth grade when I first right. met him, we had fans in the rooms. That's and that's it. all we had. That and is it. Hot as fuck. Do you feel like we went to the typical dilapidated nigga school? But <laughs> do you feel like we, we went, went to the that's urban what, school? Huh? Yeah, the yeah, typical urban dilapidated oh, yeah. school. Yeah. Because when we finally did get AC units, they got a bunch of old. We ain't get no new shit. We got I'm old sure beat up assholes. They, they probably got off the fucking junk Maintenance man men was street. always in there fixing the shit. Or, or them fucking hoes was. Oh, it's cold in here. <laughs> and turning the AC unit off, and then nigga like me, that's always hot all the time. Be back there sweating because your bitch. And let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Oh my god! But y'all get what I'm saying, right? Yeah. Real hot, and you finally get AC after all these years, and some right. hole gets up and turns that shit off. Like what? The, the hand starts to shake. <laughs> I feel the power surge between my fingers and the back of my hand, <laughs> and the the the. the inner pimp the mm. souls of old pimps gums into my body and I just feel the urge to just backhand everybody mm. just especially mm. her that person and ain't nobody in particular because it was multiple times this happened yeah right and it's just like you hear the fucking like street fighter little pew sound effect mm. I'm smacking so a falcon punch bitches all day or something but yeah. we did no, we never yeah we never got let out of school early for heat we just had to deal with the shit yeah. or just get fucked that's there but see somebody scared. said something made a point that I never thought of which is and it's instead of letting the kids out early 
why don't you just get some AC units so they don't have to like miss out on any of their education? Letting them out early ain't really helping them because they ain't learning nothing. They're just going home and fucking off. You just get AC units, they can be in the school learning. Probably I'm sure if the too spirit much. was here, yeah, true. She would be defending that too because she would be a teacher, but you right. Ooh, it's not in the budget. There you go. I don't think our budget has ever been. I don't know if Nothing any is school ever in system. The budget, the budget yes. isn't in the fucking budget. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, can, all right, so this is random. Can you explain how the fuck we are trillion dollars in debt and we're still functioning as a society? Because this just because boggles we my need mind. The guns and the, the army tanks and shit and police need fucking. Dumb sh- I don't fucking know. They need money to buy violent shit. So how are we still functioning? If and oil we're, and shit. It's like all of our money should be technically going away. Honestly, I just read something that said something about the dollar amount. Oh, fuck boy did something that just made the dollar amount go down a couple percent or some shit like Oh, you that. don't say. The value went down. Something like that. Yeah, I don't That's so funny. Know. Like, you know who we're talking about. I didn't know when like, I say fuck boy. I didn't know what I'm talking is, about. Is, it, is he really about to get impeached? Are they trying? One can only hope. Ah, but well, like, then, but like my hear? man said on TV, impeachment ain't enough. We need to annul the whole fucking thing. Mm. Just like hit the mask, like hit, empty the recycle bin on that shit. That never happened. Act like it just just erased the whole thing from existence. So he said if... Uh, oh, here we go. He said if he was in a while. to be impeached... Something to the effect of... The motherfuckers with war, well, like wig out, start doing, tripping, doing violent shit. Yeah, it would not look good for the country. Yeah. We would go bankrupt in some more shit. Says the guy who has had turn, multiple projects that have gone bankrupt yes. and not made money. Yeah, but if sure. we go bankrupt, that in turn would allow for martial law to take place. Oh, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, think about that one. Man, ain't nothing going You know what the fuck gonna happen if this motherfucker get kicked out? Parades, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> that's what the fuck yes! gonna happen. Yes! A bunch of racists are going to be upset. That's all that's, that's gonna That's the happen. problem. And you never know that to the, what extent a racist will go. Yeah, that's true. But see, if if they get fucked up, nobody will weep for them except other racists. Yeah. We'll see what happens, though. Yeah, right? I still, honestly, I don't know. Because I used to always say if it didn't happen by now, it probably ain't happening. But we'll see. Did you see in Florida, though, the black guy just won, for like, won the mayor? He had a bunch of things that were like um, his platforms were like abolishing ICE and giving money, like teachers more money and shit. And if health, health care for everybody. Ah, shit like that and that's Florida. he's about to die <laughs> oh no Pete, I mean I'm sorry don't put I that just, bad mojo on my yeah brain. you're right you're right good luck my brother good luck that's an uphill battle right there yeah it is bro. god damn somebody gotta do it that's the thing man yeah. motherfuckers complain about shit not getting done yeah. you just gotta get the shit done yourself I'm one of those guys you know I can't talk I shit do, I talk shit all the time too ah <sighs> Uh. Honestly, it was almost like with this podcast. Nothing against all our peoples. I love all y'all, but it was like I used to listen to podcasts. And I was like, "We're the black ones." <laughs> <laughs> also, real shit. It became. It was like because you know our black ones, of course. But a lot of mm-hmm. times they talk about like music and shit. But when it came, mm-hmm. I ain't hearing about movies and shit because I love movies and music mm-hmm. and all that. And there's not a whole lot of them. The difference. We actually got added to the pods and color database recently. I finally got us in there. Like all the you no. Know, Pods of color. I see. So okay. we're a part of that now. So thank you for letting us in. Yeah, thank you guys. Because that helps. Because it's like I said. Because and then they're even broke up by genre. Like oh, if you want to hear movies uh-huh. and do these podcasts, like we're we're under like movies and shit on there. Wow. Thanks but, guys. Yeah, but for a long time that's how I felt. That's why I went. That's one of the reasons why I was like, let's do some shit. Yeah, that makes sense. And people love it. Like, yes. We ain't have, like on Facebook. They got a thing now where people can give us ratings. We got five out of five stars right now. Damn we got right. a lot of 30 some reviews we got all five stars on Apple. like people like this shit so I mean it was Thank a good you. idea I guess yes it was <laughs> yes it was it was like you know that's what I'm saying it's just like if you want something like that just go do this shit do it you want more black podcasts make a black podcast you want a black mayor you want shit done run for fucking mayor want another black president try and run for president again hmm. there was a poll that said Obama was the most well received president like out of a poll they did and you somebody, and don't so, say. And somebody's like, yeah, that's cool and all, but let's talk about how low that bar was for him to get over. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because you got that's... Bush and then Clinton and all that shit. Yeah. The other Bush. <laughs> Nixon. Yeah. Kennedy. Reagan. Damn. Yeah. Damn. So it, was, it wasn't, I guess, that hard, but at the same yeah. time, hey, he did it, though. It was, so. The black president. There you <laughs> go. Only motherfuckers mad about it were the racist people. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Have you? Did you see the Black Klansman? I sure did. I left a quick review on Twitter. I need to write a longer one for Instagram, though. Who was it? You ain't seen it? No, I oh, have not. Man. Um, 
All right, here's a quick. I right, here's a okay. quick review for you right here. Okay, real quick because um, don't I don't, don't want to spoil it. I, yeah, so I don't want to spoil too much. It's basically is it Spike Lee? Yes. And it's, I, okay. It's the best Spike Lee movie I would say in probably a decade plus. I gave it a nine out of ten on the thing. Spirit gave it a ten plus. Okay. Uh, um, and it made her cry at the end too. Really? Because uh, I don't want to spoil it though. But it basically the movie ends and it's like a happy moment. You know, the good guys won basically. Mm-hmm. But there's a shot at the end that's basically like, yeah, the good guys won this, but it takes place in like the 70s, right? Mm-hmm. So it's like, we know we know what's present day happening right now. Mm-hmm. So the movie ends with basically them being like, oh, yeah, this ain't really, no- we won this battle, but the war is like, you know, Still that type of shit. On. So it's like, okay. oh. So it kind of ends with you being like, oh. Ah. Almost, like, almost like, compare it to the Mortal Kombat theme music scene we just talked about. It's all hype. Everything's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then you like, you're like, you get stomped by reality. It's like, and then the music is like, oh. Oh, man. okay. And then wow. after that, it cuts to footage. Uh, this ain't, uh, that's not, it's not really a spoiler, but it's not story related. But after that, it gives you that little push back into reality from the 70s ang- angle of it. It cuts to like the Charlottesville rally. So it's showing like, this is a 70s story, but then look what look the now. fuck happened just okay. last year. Okay. Wow. So um, yeah, and it's 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 like it shows it doesn't right, Spike Lee. it doesn't hold no shit back. Like you feel emotions about it, mm. Mm. and it does its usual thing, like visual references to shit. Like they at one point they're watching Birth of a Nation and shit. And, ah, yeah. Okay. And the black guys just kind of like oh fuck, like okay, wow. Spirit cried at the end. Hmm. The funny thing about it too, I didn't write in the Twitter thing, of course, because it's not enough things to write on there, but <laughs> characters, but um. We were the only black people in the theater. You don't say. At first, when we looked it up the first time to go see it, they weren't playing it. So we were like, oh, okay. But something told me, like, we were riding around. I was like, check Girl City one more time. Because, of course, they got the best ticket prices. They're not, they're like five, six bucks. And they were playing it. So I was like, oh, well, that's, we did, okay, fine. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah. It was just us at first. And when we first went in there, there was like one of the seats had like a cone on it, like a spill cone. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh, that's not a good sign. Was somebody here doing fuck shit because of this movie? So, but I, so I was like, whatever. I was on alert, I'll say. And then the older white couple came in there. Alert is higher. <laughs> it's not red alert yet. It's, it's, it's like uh, yellow alert to do Star Trek, I think. So it's like, mm, okay. Another white couple comes in. Oh. It's not there yet. Um, interracial couple comes in. Oh, mm, okay, whatever. Okay. And then another older white couple comes So it's like, red alert. Yeah. It's out of fucking laws. Now I'm like, okay. Now it's like, we're the only black people in here except for this one cat over here with the white woman. And, um... No, I'm sorry. Oh, I flipped it. Actually, it was a black woman with a white guy. That's what it was. Oh. But it was other than that, it was all older white couples. So I'm like, ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay. And let's, if I hear that N word, it's popping. <laughs> Just for the fuck of it. But um, no, nah, I mean, it wouldn't have been cool. Like, no, mm. none of them walked out. There, there were certain parts where I was like, oh, if these motherfuckers were racist, they would have walked out. So I was like, they must not be on no fuck shit. Because they probably wouldn't be there in the first place anyway. Yeah. This like, is. because in my mind, I figured these people are here to, like, be assholes to people trying to watch the movie. And I was prepared I to grow city. Exactly. Yeah, I was prepared a- because they might not know, but where we come from, that area is like not that great for black people. Yes. to the point there's a, there's more to this story. I'll get to after the movie. Mm. But uh, now we watched the movie. Everything was fine, and I was I was saying all this to say too because Spirit started crying at the end, mm-hmm. and a, the woman behind me started crying too. Oh. So I was like, oh, oh, evoke some real emotions. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I mean, it's it, it emotional, I guess. It's worth watching. Like I said, I nine out of ten. If you can see it at the theater. Yeah. Damn right. But of course, just like again, like with the movie and like a Mortal Kombat, <laughs> you see the you know white people feeling emotional about it. It's like okay, you know, not not not, not everybody's against us out here. So that's cool. You know, it gives me. Even though I know that because we got a lot of white people, we cool with. Yes. But to go back to reality, there's a fucking um, uh, what do you call it? Frozen yogurt spot next door. Me and Spirit went there, got some shit. We sitting outside eating because it's a nice day out. Little white dudes roll by. It's a whole car full of them. Mm. Blasting hip hop. Mm. Looking at me all funny as they drive by. Mm. Of course, I stare back at them because I'm like, fuck What the y'all. fuck is mm-hmm. Exactly. What the fuck is mm-hmm. up? But they look away and keep going. About maybe like five, ten minutes go by. Old white man and his wife drive by. And he get like a legit, a legit, I don't give a fuck what y'all say, a legit racist stare. Get the fuck out of here. Exactly. Like, what the yes. fuck you doing here type yes. stare? Locked eyes with me the whole fucking time until he finally turned away, and I gave him the ice cube mug back too. <laughs> the fuck is? And I up? even said it. I said it out loud. I was like, "What's the fuck is up?" <laughs> and that's when he turned around. And of course, the spirit was looking toward me. She was had her back to it, so she didn't see none of it happen. Mm-hmm. But I was like, twice. That's like two times it just happened. 
Wow. Just sitting here eating fucking frozen yogurt. Wow, wow, wow. So at the same time, it's like, yeah, you get the hope that, you know, not everybody gets this, but then you sit outside, you have motherfuckers <laughs> mugging you as they drive by. One car even blast, ice cream and one car off. even blasting hip hop while they're doing it. Oh, my gosh. It's just some motherfuckers are just racist because they want to be us, but they can't do it. Mm. Mm, mm, <laughs> mm. That is it. That's the key. But that was my Black Klansman experience to get that story out there for you. So I recommend That's an experience. You, you, you had a real experience that yeah, day. Yeah, I had experience that, like I said, coincided with the spirit of the movie. That's great. I had the people that was down with us that was crying and showing emotion for us, and then I had the assholes that were trying to intimidate me with a stare until I intimidated them back, and they turned their bitch ass around and drove off. <laughs> What the fuck I don't know why people no think problems. like when I stare at me, I'm going to look away. Right. Like, black or white. Whatever the fuck right. you want. I'm not going to stare away. Yeah, you don't put no fear in me. Right. Don't let no man put fear in me like that. I'm fucking you a man you just bleed, like I am. You bleed, right? Do you bleed? Do I bleed? Okay. Exactly. Okay. So, pro tip for all y'all motherfuckers. Don't think you intimidate me with stare. It's not going to happen. <laughs> Oh, shit. If hands need to be thrown, they will be thrown. I don't mm-hmm. give a fuck. The old man that got out the car and talked some shit, his ass would have been curb stomped. So, I mean. <laughs> That's, have I spoke about how much joy that would bring me? You have said before how much ah, smacking a racist joy, like that yes. joy that would bring me. That would bring me so much joy. Because mm-hmm. it, would, it would be justified, you know? Well, this it's... is coming from the same two people that have watched. Look, what, what do they what do they call like instant karma like racist videos where racist people are getting fucked up on yes. YouTube like we watch those videos and highly enjoy them and laugh <laughs> yes it brings us great joy exactly makes my body feel good inside oh one more thing before we go yes oh, this is running kind of long oh. speaking of all this we got the black history oh black history flash card okay and this week talking about the man Benjamin Banneker the clock We'll get into it. Okay. Born November 9th, 1731. Died October 9th, 1806. Hold on. I know this. All right. The almanac, right? Farmer's almanac and the clock. And that's all I got. Astrology. Astronomer. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah? You good, yeah. Okay. You got it. Okay. First thing, a free self-taught African-American mathematician, astronomer, almanac author, and farmer. God damn. All everything you just said is all in the okay. first bullet point. At age 15, he took over the family farm and created an irrigation system to control the flow of water to the crops. Smart man. In the 1750s, he invented the first clock in America. It was this invention that put his talents on display for the country. Hmm. Responsible for surveying of territory for construction of the nation's capital in 1791 after the Lee architect quit. Authored commercially successful series of almanacs. Mm-hmm. Corresponded with Thomas Jefferson, drafter of the United States Declaration of Independence on the topics of slavery and racial equality. You don't say. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, I mean, ah. I guess you did what you can at the yeah, time, right. I guess. But, right. But there's definitely some shit that need to be relooked at. There's a whole documentary <laughs> about that called 13th. Are you serious? On Netflix called 13th. About the 13th Amendment. PJ has something to watch now. I do. That. If you have time, I'll turn that shit on, but yeah, I know we run, it, we run it kind of long. Yeah, here. yeah. It's 305. Oh. So. Okay. Mm. So, yeah. Got your black history. Got the story. Got Mortal Kombat. So, it's only one thing left to really tell y'all. And what is that? I'm Brent. And I'm PJ. Have a good rest of your Friday. Have a good rest of whatever the fuck day you're listening to this song. Live your best life. Yes. Just be good to each other, man. Like I said, man, we don't... Yeah. Uh, don't get why 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 give dirty looks to somebody when you ain't gonna do shit. I don't I don't understand. Why? Then you're not gonna do shit. That's whole shit. Like legit mm. whole shit. Yes, yes it is. Yes it is. Cause it's like Bushwick Bill said back in the 90s. Some of y'all niggas is bitches too. Mm. And that straight bitch shit to be trying to do, trying to intimidate somebody with stare. Mm-hmm. I'm in mean, your little neighborhood eating this motherfucking uh frozen yogurt. <laughs> Fuck you. Yes. My sentiments exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, peace. Peace. Wish a motherfucker would. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.